Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 234, if I'm not mistaken, yes. I'm your humble and gracious host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Molly Maul is here. Gang. Uh, Parquet is here. Hey, 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 hey hold par- on. Parquet. Parquet, Parquet. <laughs> Rory, what was your little funny name? You, you get a bunch of them. I know. <laughs> Like I asked you last week. I don't Young know Latte. Hey, 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 hey. I can't even drink coffee. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Young uh, Latte is here. Uh, Erickson is here. Silent Assassin. And my man, Savon, the dude is here. How's everybody feeling, man? Um, I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah? I'm Everybody's cool. good? Yeah. Feeling I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm good. good. How you feeling? I feel pretty good, we had man. some good weather these last couple of days, man. Yeah. Nice I'm into nice. it. Yeah. They kind of pumped like this today. Got a little cold in the afternoon. Yeah. But it's all right. It's yeah. spring, spring is coming. It's expected. No, we're not. We're, <laughs> we're, we're in Queens. Uh, well, Savon, you a... know there is a video, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. They can see us. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't even ask everybody what, what y'all summer plans were. We have, we have yet to have one conversation about I don't know, but we need plans. to take a fucking trip. I agree. I've only been saying that for like four years That's now. That's true. But we need to fucking <laughs> do it. This year is it. This is this is it. What? Yeah. what when are we not touring? Oh, uh, we got pockets. All right. In we the can, pockets, we'll do a trip. We can go mobile. It's cool. Yeah, we got. We are trying to go. Yeah. We don't want to go. Where's Where's the fellas trip now? Like, what are What do the guys go uh, in their older ages? Wait, that was a big thing. Is it a fellas trip? Or is it, had, it a couples? It's well, gonna end up being a couples trip. I'm just making that clear. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware yet. Wait, wait, the whole fucking plan just went to shit like in ten seconds. What do you mean it's gonna end up being? I'm a just telling trip? you what our, our strong queens will listen. If if I feel well, wait, like hold on. I why don't we send them them on a trip and then we go on a trip? Sin ain't happening. Uh, uh, I don't good think, luck. I don't think sin is happening, so and I don't think sin is really having me out of the country with y'all, <laughs> like my friends. <laughs> Mm. I could probably get it off alone. Like, yeah, I'm just go read. <laughs> Fuck I'm no. Just, what? Just go, Before you know going with us? 48 Laws of Power. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's like, yo, DK 48 Laws. <laughs> DK. This, Tell your girl you're going to go read 48 yeah, Laws of Power. The, the, yeah, the second that everybody's going. Though, I'm going to go get this. <laughs> this nigga got mad rooms I'm gonna yeah. go away though and read that. Right. Yeah, I heard it's man. better in Colombia. Like, it's just the air is better when you read. Yeah. You internalize yeah. it more. I already seen all these rooms in this house. You should go to Columbia. <laughs> Columbia is good. Oh, you can think this is crazy. <laughs> Why not? I think it's, edu- it's, it's like hey, history. Were it's, you about to say educational? <laughs> yeah, like we, we can learn some shit. Like I don't want to go to the Puerto Rico and Dominican. We do that. We've been there already. You gonna do? Bl- you gonna do blow if we go to Colombia? Me? Yeah. No. Okay. Hell no. Grow up. Fuck no I'm definitely gonna try And drug more If we go away <laughs> Why are you trying To drug me you know, like, What type of shit is that Joe my lips are numb <laughs> this, this, Wow this, this water tastes weird Hold up really Did y'all hear the story About the dude That put LSD In a water cooler At work Because he, he said All his coworkers Were boring Yeah, so he, yeah. So he wanted to yeah. Just, yeah, that's, I said yo He ain't even Go to the Molly He went LSD yeah, Trying true. to make The work environment yeah. More crazy. tolerable How much LSD what? Like there's a Big sheet of paper <laughs> Floating around <laughs> They need to loosen up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane, Joe. You ain't never look at all your coworkers and think y'all look too uptight. Not LSD, y'all need to trip. Though. Maybe, Balls. <laughs> maybe some weed brownies at the at the at yeah. the you know happy office. hour is just not cutting it with y'all. Yeah, like, LSD in the water cooler. That is it's good sick. trippy hour. That's look, crazy. Y'all, y'all think y'all tripping now? <laughs> Give it thirty minutes. <laughs> um, shout out to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership, and shout out to our fans, man, all of you. <laughs> Imagine Janice in accounting on the LSD. Oh my god! She start crying because of the numbers. You just she just start crying. That's I feel right. like everybody in accounting is on Adderall. Oh, they have to be. Y'all, y'all yeah, want Adderall? Yeah, if, shout out to the people in accounting on Adderall. That's, that's our <laughs> shout out today. That's how, that's how you getting the work done. God damn it! Yeah, once I started working in advertising, I was like, oh, everyone's on Adderall. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Just We're no zooming. longer alone. I. Used to, Back when I did do Adderall, I would, it'd be hard for me to find the plug. Mm. Then I just no, walked into a it. building of 300 people that were all the plug. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's just in the drawer. It was like Tylenol? Yeah. Hard for me to find. You know how many of the fucking my 30 Adderalls I gave Rory? <laughs> Usually to Joe's house. <laughs> I was hard, tired of asking. Hard to find a plug. We work together every week. <laughs> <laughs> he was with the plug, man. Yeah, what the fuck is Rory talking nah, about? Nah, your views Adderall was different. I wasn't ready for that. 
Uh, and that's, <laughs> that was a good Adderall. <laughs> Johnny won't hit on boy neither for me. <laughs> change, <laughs> he won't hit change, on change the podcast life. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find homeboy for nothing. Uh, that's the worst when niggas find out that you got some Adderall. Oh, man. All of a sudden, everybody want one. <laughs> everybody need an Adderall when you got Adderall. It's like nah, gum. but you also it's were like just gum. getting and Adderall out like candy. Like parts, man. We're going to do a session today. Here you go. Go. All right. Listen, <laughs> Parks, I'm about to vacuum. Here you go. <laughs> no, that he, shit. When I, no, when when I be took, at Joe's crib on a Saturday and we'd pop some 30s, watching Joe clean his entire Edgewater house was the funniest thing nah, ever when we me. drove from, when we drove from... He's vacuuming the hardwood floors. Like, dog, just mop it. When we drove from... <laughs> When we drove from Denver to Vegas in a blizzard, and Joe was driving and cleaning off the dashboard with a rag, because <laughs> he just popped about 50. <laughs> it's like a 17-hour drive. <laughs> Joe pulled over to put air in the tires and shit. <laughs> like, Joe, what the fuck are you doing? I was cleaning the car. While you were driving? While he was driving. Yeah, you lazy pieces of shit get, get out the back and clean it. But why didn't you clean it before y'all pulled off? It failed. It wasn't dirty before we pulled up. <laughs> so we, we were smoking dri- back-to-back we, cigarettes. We were driving. Oh, okay, it okay. was a fucking 17-hour trip. Yeah. I pulled over to get some air. As I was getting air, noticed the inside. Well, the inside needed to be vacuumed. Okay. And the outside had mad shit on it. So I was trying to clean it up before we took the next 10 hours. Yeah. <laughs> to go through the Rockies to get where it get more dirty again. Dirty again. He was wiping yeah. them Before we get into Colorado. Corey and Parks was like, yo, come on, get in, man. <laughs> get in. What are you doing, Joe? <laughs> I'm wiping the mosquitoes off the headlights. Shit. <laughs> man, I drove from, where did I drive from? It was from? Denver. I and it was a blizzard. I drove from Denver to Phoenix alone. <laughs> straight. By myself. Straight, straight through. That's crazy. That's a long trip. That's some sick shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bum ass Brandon talking about you can't drive from Jersey to DC. Nigga. <laughs> think that's like literally one exit of the yeah, I don't even think it's <laughs> so like, yeah, I gotta take a break in Delaware. <laughs> a break. Stop and get some food. Uh you see Rory with his uh the Yankees one jeans on? Mm, the okay. Yankees win double. Your dad is a Yankee fan? Mm-hmm. Big Yankee fan. Our, our dog our dog was named Munson. Wait, but y'all from Queens. My dad is from New Jersey and then oh, okay. the Bronx. Okay. I'm about to say your dad. He yeah. he, he, he taught oh, at Fordham, right? When so your dad nah, went to Fordham. When your dad nah, was from two went places. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dad get around when he from two from yeah. Jersey in the Bronx. <laughs> I mean, he just had work yeah. over there. He had a chick over there. He had a chick yeah. over there. Like I, I met my mom in the Bronx, and, yeah. and the history was and that was, <laughs> was made. And, and well, Roy are. definitely got brothers somewhere he don't know about. One hundred percent. You gonna meet him soon, For like sure. I did at 29. Your moms don't like that. Your mom said Joey is not the middle. Child. Oh, fair. when she texts everyone in the podcast separately about that, yeah, my mom. I was great. nervous. Hi, mom. Love you if you're listening. Uh, oh, she's listening. So, where do we start? What is pop? <laughs> J Lo. <laughs> what I mean, is pop? Yo, I mean, you know, I know Joe let's is really mad. get into this. I seen him screenshot and put the. He even put an arrow with his finger. Yeah, to, he did. To, it's saying R and B and soul. soul. J Lo is soul music. Oh, That's what he was trying to sell us last it. night. <laughs> Yo, let me just. I laughed for at least twenty minutes after that because that was my first time learning how to do the <laughs> arrow, arrow. <laughs> point thing. It was a little frustrating, yeah, but I did it. You, how many? How many it. tries it took? Uh, my stupid ass fingers, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the whole print. You just got to the, the, the tip of the nah, finger. Nah, my bum ass fingers. I didn't know when I was allowed to draw. <laughs> Oh, you don't know when it starts. Like I pre- yeah, I pressed the thing that started. I didn't see nothing, undo, but yeah, I'm drawing undo. in white. Now I got to undo, shake the phone, cancel. Hey, what's happening? Get me out of here. Go back. I need a back button. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was, I was rocking. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that so many people. This, that there's a conversation to be had about 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 that. I was just laughing at how many people was in our mention talking about. Yeah, it was serviced as a urban record. I'm like, what fucking label do you work for? Right. You know, how that was serviced. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But, Service that. But I think I figured <laughs> out up. I think I figured out where some where most of the confusion comes from. And it's from pop is short for popular music. Right. And pop is a genre. Or some people were saying it ain't. Yeah. So where Do you one, think it's a genre? One hundred percent. I do too. I do. I but I also think that each individual genre can have, like, there can be pop country, there can be pop Absol- hip hop, there can be pop yeah. R&B. Absolutely. 
While Ja Rule was pop hip hop. Correct. Yeah. His earliest shit, not so much. But right. He had he had moments where he was just straight hip hop, but yeah. his single, his big songs were just for the most pop, part yeah. pop hip hop. Yeah. I agree. Including that. Pop song. hip hop. Yeah. yeah. So do we just come That's to, funny to a hear. good Popular. middle ground amongst everyone? <laughs> it's now it's just hip-hop. It's, it's pop hip hop. Yeah, I could, I could, I can agree with that. Hip hop, popular hip hop. Yes, I, I mean they made pop rock used to be a genre. Yeah, like, yeah, you could yeah, go absolutely. to the CD store and absolutely. find pop rock. Absolutely. I don't know if I like it. Pop hip hop, <laughs> hip pop. Because because, because give me some pop, more. Pop. Give, like give me some more examples <laughs> of, of pop, that pop. of pop hip hop. <laughs> yeah, I mean Drake, I think would be one. How long? We uh, mentioned uh, Nelly. Nelly would be Nelly pop would hip-hop definitely to be me. pop hip hop. Yeah. I think everyone has, not everyone, a lot of people have pop hip-hop songs within yeah, their... For sure. Nelly had pop country, too. That's true. He had, like, a straight-up country record. Uh, Flo, <laughs> Flo Rider. Yeah. yeah. Pop hip-hop. For sure. I, I, guess, I think I Pitbull has some pop hip-hop for at sure. one point. Well, Absolutely. Most of his career is pop, yeah, yeah. to a degree. He might be, but like, I know just he used regular to rap. pop. Like, a nah, he's, he's in a whole nother lane now. Yeah. <laughs> Pitbull so is Flo Rider. Pitbull ain't take off that suit <laughs> since <laughs> things started looking up. Or the shades. Yeah, it's like, nah, fam, never going back to jeans again. <laughs> he be sending the tailor the same measurements for every suit. <laughs> Two hundred suits Yo, again. These, these are my dimensions. Yeah. My issue with the word pop, uh, not pop being short for popular, but may, maybe in that too. Maybe my beef is the confusion that it that it causes. Maybe because of where I think the the origin of the word pop stems from, based on what it means today, maybe I think that's what my issue with is. You with feel it. like pop has a a stigma of being like trash, bubblegum shit. Yeah, no, I think, I think pop, a lot of people personalize this argument, like thinking that pop is like a bad thing, like corny, yeah. but not but me. Prince, like cheesy. Prince, right. to some degree, obviously was rock music, but Prince was pop to some degree too. He was pop, a, he pop was rock. a lot of different genres. Yeah. He was funk. He was yeah. he was R&B, Michael Jackson soul, all pop to me. Rock, Beyonce all pop to me. Rihanna all pop to me. Like there's great music. With Prince pop wasn't. Music. I don't see anything that was pop about Prince music. Hmm? He had some pop songs. That was, okay, but the majority of Prince music wasn't pop, and I even agree. the songs that went pop, the elements that created it. Well, that's where we get into, and the, that's yeah, where the our, that's starts. where our conversation goes. Because a lot of people, I was a lot of people that I think maybe don't know what they're talking about, but I respect the, I respect what they were saying. Was saying where you intend for the song to go is what makes it pop. I totally disagree with that. Where you intend like for your it intended to go. demo, your I'm intended, not mad at that your intended audience. Oh, I don't think the audience. I think it's more about what is the purpose of the song from like an artistic standpoint. Like, yeah. Are you like I tweeted this? I yeah. think if, if you're trying to show off a. a like when you did the All Love Lost intro and you're rapping for 70 bars and you have a two minute guitar solo, that is clearly not attempting to sell a lot of records or be on radio. That's showing off virtuosity in rapping and in instrumentation. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. Probably the furthest. Whereas example. I think uh, <laughs> She Don't Put It Down is an attempt at getting on radio. Not to personalize it, but, that, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I think exactly your attempt, no, is to get on hip hop radio. But whatever your attempt is doesn't have. I see. I don't think that has anything to do with the art or the elements that. Make up art. Whatever Brian wanted to do with these don't really matter. What matters is what did you use in the creation of it? Right. But I don't think that the elements necessarily determine whether something is pop or not. Like we said, there's there's yeah, people are using right. different elements. Ariana well, Grande has trap records on her yeah, album. Yeah, that's I was, pop I was about music. Because people yeah. use well, that's where it got confusing because a lot of the pop artists, I a lot of them dibble in hip hop, well, dibble in in urban shit but mm-hmm. they're pop artists right mm-hmm. or in past years dibble, yeah. dabbled in rock and well, funk I think, I think genres are so blurred <laughs> as far as lines go now that it's way harder to dictate what is an actual pop record and what isn't and that's part of the beauty of hip hop actually is how it fused so many genres yeah, yeah, genres of music and brings different people together people together I think pop is the gentrification of music also I said hip hop not pop. I think pop, I, I'm not mad at that. I think pop I can, is the gentrification of music. I think pop is like segregating music. Like, I just think so many negative things. Well, I think music is segregated. Period. Shouldn't be. It shouldn't be at all. I agree. It shouldn't it's be. Art. It shouldn't be. Art. And that's my beef. Yeah. I'm still looking at it as it's art. Still. Yeah. Not a not a tangible product that you can carry in somewhere. Like that's how they talk about it when when it goes mainstream. Like, oh, but it hit the number one on. Who gives a fuck where right, it hit? Right. It was art. It yeah. was art before it left the house. Right. 
Yeah, I guess the music is either good or bad. Is what it should be. I agree. <laughs> that's simple. That's either that, great. I think that solves everything. Right? <laughs> Is no, it they don't, yes. no, they don't solve solve it for me. No, fuck out of here. Nah, 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 so nah. you agree with music having genres. so many different genres? No, I want I want the white people to be as accepting as we are. Meaning, that, you want them to accept ours the well, way I, we accept. Sam theirs. Smith is what started pop. out soul, then it went pop. Yeah, I don't, that one's tough too. The only song it's, everybody no, pop, knows pop, from soul. Sam Smith is a soul record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But they won't call it soul record. They're calling but it if pop. John Legend sung that song, it would be a soul record. But then that's, John Legend has gone pop my, a lot. That, that's my issue. Adele. That ain't pop. But the I genre, think, the genre, the genre, <laughs> yeah. the genre. Not but I, popular I think that music. Came from, I think we created that genre, that soul. That sound. That feel like blues. But yeah, for sure. That's all stemming from blues. All, yeah. Most modern music is stemming from, from blues. blues absolutely. So I think that Soul is, is is a subdivision of blues. Yeah, right. Definitely. So I think that, like you said, we we're accepting to other cultures sounding like us. We're yes. accepting to that. You yes. know what I'm saying? So now, when Sam Smith has a soul record, like you said, it is fucked up that they won't call it soul because he's not quote unquote. He doesn't look like yeah. he has soul. He's white. Oh, he's, yeah, he's a white. Yeah. He's a white yeah. guy. So it, it is fucked up. I agree with you. Like I think that. If you sound like this and this is the music and the art that you create and you paint or whatever, then that's what it is. Right. But I just, I'm just, I don't like the different genres of music only because I just feel like if I listen to certain records, I could hear a whole bunch of different inspirations from different sounds and and eras of music. And I'm like, how do I categorize Well, that's the thing. Like, look at Pop Now. There's so much Caribbean influence and reggae influence. Absolutely. 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 And like Shakira. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. When you look, look at Pop what the genre yeah. pop? Yeah, there's a lot of Caribbean influence rhythms. Ed, Ed Sheeran did absolutely basically a rip <laughs> from a dancehall record, right. and it was the biggest. It went number one on everything. Mm-hmm. Right, but I, I would argue that Ed Sheeran don't make pop music the genre, not popular. Mm-hmm. So what do you consider pop music? Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo makes pop music. Hmm. I think it's okay. electronic music, um, pop electronic music. Who else? Who else? Who else? So we, so pop can be tagged. I think so. Different. That's okay, my solution for I, it. I got yeah. That's his. I, I see what Parks is doing. He's saying that you can just take pop and put it on to different genres like pop soul, pop R and B, pop hip hop, pop. You know what I mean? Like he, I, I, I see what you saying. I think that's the only. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Actually. Reasonable because solution. pop does mean popular. At but the then you the remember day. like right. early 2000s, 90s when alternative rock became kind of. Yeah, pop just like the TRL top ten countdown had mad alternative rock songs that were yeah Fall Out Boy pop, and all yeah, them yeah, that's pop, pop but it's what is alternative like rock? Green Day went pop that's what is alternative it's weird you know what I'm saying like Nirvana is considered alternative I guess they would be like the pinnacle of alternative rock quote unquote REM um, people like that Pearl Jam okay but it's just rock <laughs> you know what I'm saying well, it's not really that alternative particularly all right, so, so what do we think of the Lil Nas kid that got taken off the country <laughs> shit <laughs> do you want, are we being serious or are we joking <laughs> well let's joke uh, let's, 20 minutes in. Uh, uh, let's be serious first and then get into our and jokes and get into a laughing mood yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's be serious first. that's a country record um well let's play it. I, have y'all heard it yeah. yeah I've heard it all day loop I think it's I, I would say it's country yeah well let, let's play it first for the yeah. listeners for the people that haven't heard it He's playing a banjo. <laughs> Anytime you leave with the banjo. What's the horse is involved? You got me. <laughs> Look at the artwork. <laughs> That's the horse. I'm rolling. It's a good looking horse. Country. <laughs> uh, Joe, how you feeling? Hey. Hey. What's your hey. man's name? What's the little white kid name? Hey. He could never. This shit hard. What's uh Ramsey? <laughs> Ramsey Ramsey could never. I can't Ramsey. hear you because oh, Rory it, just had the blast thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one with headphones on. If Rory got into his shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, see Rory was getting hey. to his shit. Yeah, Rory Rory's like, like, yo, I took Rory like, yo, y'all ain't. Yo, the Houston, Houston in me just. What do you that bass? This is Rory's shit. It's like finally they have put 808s. I got I was my tight. shot with I the horse. This whole billboard should happen. That was going to be my sleeper. I don't, think I, did the, I don't think I did the drops at all. My bad. 
<laughs> Definitely didn't. It's cool. All right, Rory, get into your uh, your bag, man. Let's see my bag. And I'm That's old town you. boy in a no. country road. I see why country got that shit out of there. <laughs> it was like, no, 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 we will not do this to the genre. Yeah, <laughs> we no, will, hey, we will not add yeah. that much. We bass. let we let Nelly get about five grand. Yeah, into us. yeah, like that. That's it. That's where it ends. Yeah, country fifth. You don't get them eight oh eight to fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, no, not Nashville. Nah. Uh-uh. The funny thing is, when it came on, like the melody he was doing vocally, like some of these like trap like. Travis in them mm-hmm. be kind of having them similar melodies and I was like damn they are kind of countryish a little bit absolutely. absolutely I never really that's what I'm saying you can hear the influence yeah. in a lot of different a lot of these mean? kids too use a lot of like uh, emo rock mm-hmm. melodies and shit like Uzi in them and um, Juice World Juice just World rips them straight straight emo <laughs> melodies <laughs> yeah straight yeah, from I the actual record them niggas is the new R.E.M. and fucking absolutely oh yeah, yeah. absolutely 100% yeah that's alternative hip hop. Oh, I can see somebody R- alternative now. Alternative R and B. Listen, listening, chopping this up. Quote during the week. Tearing it. Joe says that Juice <laughs> World is REM. One hundred percent. Hey, 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 oh, hey, all you fucking quote lingerers, suck my dick. <laughs> Chop that one here. up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, misinterpret that. <laughs> Find the context and suck my dick. <laughs> Hell, man. Jesus Christ. I hate them niggas. Yeah, but I definitely see they're in full force this week. Yeah, ain't that, but no, this has been with us now since January. The, the, the niggas are just hating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we <laughs> enough know that. is enough. Now. But I didn't know it hit me on the no. way here today. No, yeah, <laughs> no, they're like, the hey, though. man, there's a trend. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Absolutely. say that. It's been since January. Get yeah. off my dick. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, back to Rory's shit. Come on, Rory. This is my shit. I mean, do y'all hear the little Nas elements in it too? I hear Nas in there all day. I thought the intro was kind of. Definitely Illmatic ish to me. Yeah. It reminded me a little bit of uh Forty First Side. Yeah. Like y'all know how to start this shit. And then was, the drums hit. You was ready Vernon. <laughs> I got the one mic vibe when the banjo came in. Cause then when it came in real crazy afterwards. I was like, oh, the build up. You get the tech in the dresser? <laughs> <laughs> no, not to that. If he get to the, the bridge and there's a tech in the dresser on his song. <laughs> No. Why Rory look like he's not all, playing it no more? <laughs> first of all, country people stay with the guns. That's true. Now that is true. More of a shotgun. 100% true. Long rifle approach. Yeah. Listen, yeah. You know, country folks was not having all that 808 in their car. Man. <laughs> or or him. Yeah. White people don't like, <laughs> yeah, white like, people do not like the bass. No. Hey. <laughs> hey. I would have hated to sit through this session. Oh, bull ride. That's your shit. <laughs> Are you hitting the young jock right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They told him something. <laughs> they told him, get this shit out of they here. They told him something. The funny thing is, I've heard country records from, like, country artists that are using 808s and shit now. Or, like, auto-tune. Everyone's using that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to make it t- to the Competitive. Air. Yeah, yeah, to the air. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to. But that's... That's full. That's a. We trap can have jokes. With, we we could have fun with this. That's not country. See, but that's my beef with pop. We we can't get songs in country. Not the most of us can't get songs in pop. <laughs> right. But come on, that's crazy. Beyonce couldn't get a pop song. Oh, the the. They no, she it wanted on. a country. No, country. Song. The daddy. Yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. I pop uh, a yeah. country song. Fuck that was I, a country song. That really Straight was up a country song. song. Yeah. And that was fire. Yeah. That was better than whatever the Dixie <laughs> Chicks did that year. <laughs> yeah. Get the Dixies well, right I'm sure out of here. They sold out so, all their tours, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever Wilson Phillips had going on. <laughs> Brad <Wilson> Paisley. <laughs> Brad Paisley was not. <laughs> They're not even country, I don't think. think so I, I miss Wilson Phillips. <laughs> that was my <laughs> shit when I was Who the young. fuck is Wilson Phillips? Hold on. You know, like three white the chicks. Three, no, the three white chicks. A yeah. little the, different the, from Wilson The one Pickett. big one. <laughs> the one big one. I'm gonna make it just a little. Oh, that was my shit. <laughs> that, 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 was that was my shit. Hold on, man. God damn it. <laughs> I, fucked, I fucked with that record. That was yeah. my shit. You got this in your Serato? Got, that might be top five. Wilson dead or alive. Fuck, you fucked up. That was, was my it? shit. God, I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying it. God damn it. Oh. Hey. Don't you just love that sound? Saturday vibes. Back. Clap it up. Mo, I brought you back to a time and place. Oh, hey. Such a beautiful time. <laughs> That's the shit. Oh, come on. This was the shit. Yeah. Oh, with the Amani harms. Layered the vocals. <laughs> 
stack the mains. <laughs> all these, all these bitches. They stack the mains. <laughs> stack the mains. <laughs> all these bitches look like Rory in the face. <laughs> <laughs> You know that quote that you was looking for? That's going to be a headline. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Edit. Uh -oh. Joe Button disses Wilson Phillips. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they kind of smoked this shit, though. <laughs> This is great quality for back in the day. <laughs> God damn. Who mastered this nah, shit? That, that was like the pinnacle for mixing and shit. God damn. They was replacing sounds every still. sound with a synthesizer. It sounded great. Wow, sounded they, great. <laughs> they killed that shit. That's pop? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. That's pop pop. Yo, when white people do R&B, they just call it pop. That's R&B? Oh yeah, that's R and B, Joe. That's what that's white and B. White, that's white and B. That is white and B. White, white and blues. Yeah, that is white and blues. That's white and blues, right there. That's, man. That's, tell me, I'm lying. That's white blues. That's like, not pop. Y'all go through different shit. Why is this a pop record? <laughs> what is pop about it? The tempo is not pop. You clap on the one of this song for sure, but that don't make it pop. <laughs> Look, come on. Babe, this sounds like nah, an intro for no, a fucking yeah. sitcom. Come on, no. Just, no, <laughs> that's White Soul. <laughs> no, it is, but I think that's Bob. Nah, don't yeah, do White Soul right like there. that. So there's some good White Soul out there. <laughs> there ain't no White Soul. Come on, nah, there's man. some soul for White Soul. White Soul be all right sometimes. Yeah, it's that's it's definitely it's on Bobby Caldwell and them. Come on, man. That's on the Hell TJ yeah. Maxx store playlist. You can go on TJ oh, Maxx. That's yeah. definitely coming on. Definitely getting a shirt for 10 99 that song. At Bradley's. Hold up, man. Niggas got white soul fucked up, man. At Bradley's. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Man, yeah, man. They will not be playing this at TJ Maxx. I can nah. promise. Hey. I would, nah, but I would the, buy everything if this was nah, they, they, they play this at the Walgreens on Communipore. <laughs> yeah, Walgreens. That makes maybe. sense. Yeah, for sure. This ain't, is this White Soul? Yeah. This is White Soul. Not really, because it was a black girl. <laughs> he ain't singing this about no white chick. <laughs> Fair. Yo, dude asked me today when we was talking about Justin Timberlake. Of course, he's a huge pop star. He's like, you mean to tell me Cry Me a River is not a pop song? <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, uh, can the average white guy dance to Cry Me a River? Probably not. No. Of course not. Is what you won't do a pop song? The average white, white dude cannot dance to Cry Me a, a River and look cool. <laughs> It's, it's, not it's, tough, it's tough to dance. Yeah, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure. Cool, I'm not sure. That's my right. point. So how, that, that, how can that be pop? That's we don't know. You don't think they could be pop ballads? Oh shit! We went to the pop ballads. <laughs> Look where we are. We're covering this thing one genre at a time. End of the road is a pop ballad. I mean, not not an end of the road. I'll make love to you. <laughs> yeah. To me, that's a pop ballad. Someone gets man, man in the mirror is a pop black, ballad. Black, to me. black dudes trying to sound like white soul. Someone get Sean Stockman on the phone. White soul. <laughs> Sean, yo, shoot I'm going to fuck Sean up. Get Sean Stockman hey, on the Sean phone. Hey, Sean Stockman, you better stop commenting <laughs> under my fucking Instagram pics. Nigga. I just want to ask him if it's pop. <laughs> <laughs> Is it pop? Oh, I wanted to call somebody. Give me the phone. Call Sean the, Stockman. Let me call up Sean, man. Call Sean Stockman. Maul and Sean made Maul and Sean Stockton, Stockman made friends. <laughs> Off of my Did joke. They? Off no, of my they, joke. They fucking besties. Now these no, niggas be laugh. hanging out. They got a group chat. Don't laugh with a we nigga you never it. met just, in person. We just shared about, a laugh. About me. <laughs> we just shared a laugh. Bro. You're in a laughing mood? Yeah, today. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Look, you got somebody over <laughs> Sean, going to serious this up real quick? How do I uh, FaceTime audio? I don't know how to do that. I got you. Uh, Oh, damn, I sound like my dad. I don't know how to work the iPhone. How do you text? Hey, how I get the text to stop being green, Joey? <laughs> hey, you're texting Android, brother. <laughs> it's okay. You're texting the wrong phone. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Pop is great. A few people enjoyed Pop's call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, may I speak with Punch, please? Yeah, what up? Punch, how are you? This is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. Greetings. Joe, what's happening, my man? Same, same shit, different day, man. I'm, I'm sitting here talking to Maul and, and my two white buddies about pop music. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, <laughs> what is pop music? <laughs> man, to, from from my understanding, pop music is basically anything that wasn't black music originally. 
originally that the origin of it because i was right. telling them that that my beef with the word today probably is based on the origins of the word yeah exactly because they used to call black music like race records you know what i mean they'd only circulate like they could even only tour the, around the uh chitlin circuits but then the white artists would get our songs and circulate them across the country so those songs were were pop records but it kind of exists today but it's it's kind of water is is watered down a little bit like we sneak in certain songs and they consider pop songs but ultimately it's about race hmm okay is pop a genre though today or does it is it just popular music today Cardi B's record with Bruno Mars, I take that to be a pop record. Oh, for sure. When you look at the charts, like the top 10 or top 40 are pretty much pop records because it's popular music. But when determining pop pop music, the genre, not not the popularity of it, uh, are there elements that are distinctive? You know, like if you hear soul record, you can hear right. elements that make it a soul record. A ballad, country, are there elements that make... A, a record stand out in the pop genre, not popular music. I believe so, but it's not it's not consistent. Like if you take a Adele record, those are pretty much soul records, but they'd be considered pop. Mm -hmm. It's an evolving genre, right? Exactly. So it's no like it's no absolute rule on it now, but it's all just based on it's supposed to be based on just popular music or popular records. Does Kendrick have a pop record? Hmm, good question. What, what was the SZA and Kendrick record, in your opinion, from the Black Panther soundtrack? Personally, I don't, I don't classify it, but I can understand why it would be considered a possibly a pop record because of, I mean, the instrumentation. It's mm. the floor on the floor, four on the floor sound with the drums, the polish, yeah. very polished sounding. Punch, I ain't gonna keep it, but I don't like none of this classification shit. I don't. I hate it. I hate it. I'm, I'm just keeping it real with you, man. Even if niggas, y'all niggas sounding great, y'all making a lot of sense. I hate it. <laughs> nah, I'm with you on that. Like, ultimately, to me, it's, it's either good or bad music at the end of the day. But, you know, I feel like popular music <laughs> tends to get more press, you know what I mean? More visibility. And that usually works for the white artists more so. I mean, right. people of color. But who who are the white pop artists today? Who are they? Like the last pop artist I think of is like Britney. No, I mean I go with Gaga, Ariana, Ariana Grande. Gaga. I think yeah, Ariana, Ariana Grande, Grande makes a lot of hip hop inspired shit. R and B too. A lot of yeah R and B. Yeah. But she's still yeah, a pop artist. It's true, artist. but you know her 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 skin is you know fair. Ed Sheeran is pop, I would say. See, so, pun so punch it with me. It, it, listen, it does boil down to your complexion at some point. Absolutely. It, it, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. For sure. If you yeah. look at, like, even if you look at SZA album, she had a bunch of different genres on that album. That's true. But yeah. because of her skin tone, they would be quick to label it R&B. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Like, Drew Barrymore is I'm not just about to say, Drew Barrymore record. was a pop record. Right. Yeah, that's fucked up. They got less SZA getting the pop game, goddammit. But then again, oh, you can make oh, a case coming. that they she gotta is. Move over. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well, good. I'm anticipating that. I'm not gonna ask when because I know y'all don't release information. But <laughs> 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 but I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, thank you, thank you, Punch, for for clearing this up for us over here. I, I appreciate it. No, nah, I appreciate you calling, man. I'm a big fan of the podcast. Love all you guys. Oh, Punch, thank hey, you. Salute, we appreciate man. it, salute. man. Salute. Yes, sir. Peace. Yeah, I think in 2019, I'm rolling with just the genres are so blurred together that pop music is popular. Like, I think it's straight up whatever is on the charts. I think in creative, that top 10 creative is, people and artists too definitely hate characterization of genres and shit. Of course. Absolutely. Like anybody that makes music is like, nah, fuck that. I'm not yeah. a hip hop producer. I'm a right. producer producer. I'm a producer. You know right. what I'm saying? Or right. whatever. Right. Which is fair. Cause I think, like you said, ultimately, it, it, yeah. it, at, the, at the root of it is a race thing. That's a big fact. It is. It is. 100%. You know, yeah. your race, and I mean, it's unfortunate, but um, I mean, I, how do we do we change it, or we, do we keep running with this, this, uh, <laughs> this narrative, or this, this? I wish they would get rid of the term urban music. 
Cause I don't like I, I, that. Shit that shit sounds shit. super racist. That. And that, but but that's why you know it makes it real easy to distinguish what they mean when they say pop because the other side is it's, urban. It's urban, <laughs> right. right? And you could take a pop record, and if it's from a black artist, it's now an urban record, right? Right. That's yeah. a fucking nasty name. Well, no, urban, urban, urban in everything, not just in music, just the That's way true. they categorize urban in yeah. advertising yeah. is yeah. racist. I was texting Joe last night. It's like when they use culture in sports. Like, yeah, we had to trade such and such because to change the culture. When have you ever seen a white player traded to change to the change culture? culture yeah. yeah. And when have you ever seen a Jason white guy Williams. get signed to a team and not something be about culture? I agree. Yeah. It always happens. <laughs> Yeah, affecting, it's, it's the, right. affecting the locker room. Yeah, we Man, brought Danny up. and Dola <laughs> in here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do white people have culture? What's the white people culture? Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> baseball. Nah, I mean <laughs> Budweiser. <laughs> white people baseball. white people in America, I don't think there's particularly a, a white culture in America. If you no. go with their ancestors, yes. Trucks. <laughs> 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 Confederate flag sparks Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> <laughs> this is the next step <laughs> To this Is Wilson and Phillips Our, our, new, our new outstanding? <laughs> yeah, this is the white outstanding 100% This is it all the white cookouts? <laughs> yes <laughs> Word hey. What's our electric slide? This, 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 when they hot they the <laughs> <laughs> this is when they get up Out their seat and Start tapping their white friends yeah. I can smell the corn in the cob right now yeah. <laughs> What's the other? Uh, what's the new electric slide? The uh, cha cha slide? That's nah. That's y'all's. No, white, but what white people got to do? We something. got the chicken dance. <laughs> nah, y'all got y'all got nah, Webster looked out for y'all. Y'all got chicken noodle soup. Wait, when do white people <laughs> order chicken noodle not, soup? Not know how to do that. That is way too much movement <laughs> and, and too many beat changes. And with a soda on the side? Yeah, no. right with that. No. Yeah, Maybe a little the funny shit about that. Who the fuck in their right mind has chicken noodle soup with soda? You are a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> you are a fucking Martian. Yeah. And you need to be carried away from this planet. I, I said that when that record freak. first came out. And like, then, yo, you have to have the taste buds of a fucking lion <laughs> to, to, to enjoy soup. soup and soda. Are you fucking well, kidding me? Is ginger ale soda? Yes. 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 You still psycho. Nah, if you're sick, you do a little chicken noodle with the ginger ale. You don't wash not it at the down same down time. Not at the same, same time. Day. Yeah, 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 no. same not day. at the same time. No, <laughs> both are healthy. Different yeah. times. No, <laughs> ginger ale is not. No, okay. I mean when you're sick. Oh, okay. It when helps. You, it's when you're sick, really you want it, but whatever. It helps. Really? Then, then oh, they they try. trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> then they tried to follow it up with our aunt Jackie, and no one knew who she was. Yeah, I still don't know. No, that's when I grew up. That's when I got too much too mature for hip hop. Actually, I was kind of too mature. They have been hating for a long time. Nah, the aunt Jackie dance was alright. That word got me in trouble. What I do? happened now? With Big Sean. <laughs> I didn't know such thing. <laughs> Big Sean want smoke now? Come on, Rory. How did Sean I hit you in trouble? Rory's a fuck. Come on, man. Sean hit you? Used to be my dog. He was in my left titty. <laughs> oh, Come man. On, was Sean Rory. he hit you? Sean hit nah, your left titty? Nothing to talk about on the podcast, okay. man. I didn't get him in trouble. Damn. Okay. Shout out to Sean. Sean's a good dude. I love Big Sean. Yeah, love it's my that. guy. Yeah, we're fair. Of course you play the one with Chris Brown on it. <laughs> and you edited. love Chris Brown, dog. And it's edited. Wait, and what it's happened? Edited. You love Chris Brown. I do love Chris Brown. I know. That's why I think it's funny you played the one Sean record with Chris on it. I, listen, you don't love Chris Brown? You love Chris Brown. I do that, Rory. We all love Chris. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm well, no, the joint on Detroit. Brown, he also has Chris Brown. Chris Brown it. is like fucking, uh, what's that? Like Adobo. Like you just put <laughs> don't matter the beat. It don't matter. Yeah, it's adobo you is going. Shit goes on everything. Adobo yeah. is going on it there. It goes with everything. Absolutely. Yeah, Chris Brown's the adobo of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would appreciate that. I'm chilling in my house, minding my fucking business, feeling amazing because we did a great pod. Uh-huh. Three min- three hours and thirty six minutes of funk. <laughs> or pop It's a parliament record Yeah I'm at, Pop I'm at, funk I'm Pop at, funk It's a hot It's a hot fucking uh, what, what night was What night was this What's today uh, Whatever night it was Felt like I was about To hit the streets I was in the closet Looking around at things mm-hmm. You know So I was feeling good You know when you walk In the closet And just look around hmm, What I'm gonna do 
<laughs> what am I kill him with? What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give him this. I mean, the red, yeah. the black shirt. Yeah, what the streets want today? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, Siri, what's the weather? Actually, the streets didn't ask for any of that, but it's like, all right, you wait, get closet. I am such the nigga to go check the weather in his phone. You have to. Uh, As a right. New Yorker, you have to check the weather. All right, I be feeling super cool. Yeah, no, you have to. You right. absolutely have to. Only the New Yorkers. Then when I see it, with the kicks, I make a decision. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, 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 oh. this is a good. Oh, how many layers of Forgot about with. this hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Oh, I yeah, get this off. Oh, I could get this off tonight. Oh, when you go find some old shit that you hated and it's dope again. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's back great. in. That's great. It's that's back great. in. So I'm in the closet looking around trying to figure out the fit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The fit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bun has never worn a fit. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever. No, ever. there's a whole Instagram yeah, that says that's that's otherwise. Saying, according to Man, them ain't fits. Those is unfit. <laughs> <laughs> um and then I get a text. Look at my phone. Who is it? You guessed it, Maul. It's push. Mm. And push is in my phone. Just saying ha ha ha. <laughs> like <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> like he He's like, yo, you a maniac, man. <laughs> he just called me mad names in the phone. Yeah. Yo, you a lunatic, bro. <laughs> regular regular uh, shit. I'm like, You've heard this all the time. I yeah. know, so I'm like, I, I know, but <laughs> what's but, up? What happened? What, which time now? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, listen, man, I'm in a meeting. I don't know what you said, but niggas is looking for you. <laughs> and I said, push whatever you do, nigga. Don't. Give nobody my phone number. Right. I don't want to talk to nobody. How do you talk to your teeth through a text? That's what I was doing. No, he did voice order. Voice order. Yeah, you just text order. (laughs) So, text order. All caps. Yeah, definitely all caps. (laughs) Texting order is funny. (laughs) Text order. We've done it. All of us have done it. For sure. Definitely. You You definitely hit that shit. No, no. I'm with y'all. Text harder. Mm -hmm. Listen, I was in the crib yesterday debating for an hour if uh, serious or should be a word. Because what happens when I'm even more serious than I normally am? Serious, sir. More, more serious. That's wrong. <laughs> Whoever did that is wrong. Serious, sir. Seriously? <laughs> no, no. I'm way serious than I was. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, tell this nigga don't get nobody my phone number. Guess who called me two minutes later? Sean. Rory gave my phone number. I did not give Sean your phone <laughs> in number. In my story, he did. <laughs> okay. In my story, he did. Right. Sounds great. Well, in your, in your false story, go ahead. Because Rory texted me like, yo, Sean, look at Oh, shit. I'm getting a call right now. <laughs> as, as Rory was yeah, texting, yeah, yeah, he tried to get ahead of it. Rory is he tried so to get ahead of it. He tried to be better with control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we'll go with this complete lie. We'll go with this complete lie. It works. It works. <laughs> Fuck it. It works. Yeah, so I asked the prize to work. I'm like, oh shit, I'm getting a call. Yeah. It's like, oh, who could it be? <laughs> Michigan number. <laughs> First of all, yes. Detroit. Michigan I was on number. the phone with Joe and he was like, yo, this 313 number keep calling me. No, After he hit me, I didn't hit him. He you, thought know, it was, you know Paul gave me your number. You thought it was Papa Doc? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Joe thought Papa Doc was calling him. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Rory got me in trouble, man. Rory fucking... I, I did not. Rory gave Big Sean my number. <laughs> no, I didn't. Of course, Big Sean wasn't thrilled about any of the bullshit I've been talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I and, spoke to him, and, and, and I, I, encu- got... I encouraged him to talk to you, but he had your number way before him, and I spoke. Mm. I hate when niggas call me and they're nice. Like, Big Sean is a nice guy. He's a no, super nice guy. We've yeah, been that, saying that. But get that shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> so you don't want him to be himself? You want him to be upset when he calls I don't, you? I don't deal well with nice people, that's man. That's insane. That's a, that's a form of insanity. Yeah, right he, heard, he heard honest insincerity and was like, chill, don't do this on the phone. <laughs> like, yo, chill, chill, don't come at me yeah, like this. You can't. <laughs> don't come at me mad nice. Yeah, don't come at me respectfully, B. <laughs> that's what he did. Because he's, he's a good dude. Come on, nigga sent me the nicest fucking... Text, because that of course my mind went to beef. Mm-hmm. He said, "Hello, my this mind is Sean. Go, my mind go right to the beef. You heard the podcast? You ain't like some shit. What up, nigga? Yeah. It's like, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> no worries about anything. Right. Like, so I just realized, man, you didn't really have her connect. So it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> when, when you and the Rizzo don't connect, <laughs> he, heard, he heard you. He heard you. Yeah. Yeah, he heard you and the Rizzo connect. Yeah. Like, but why we ain't never yeah, connect? It's true, it's true. Yeah, yeah. he wanted yeah. to know. Yeah, that was me and Sean connect. Yeah, you Ooh. and Sean connect. Yeah. So, y'all so everything's okay. Ah, uh, I mean, no, no. I mean, yes. Now, I yeah. mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way to tell with nice people. Uh, That's kind of my point. I hate talking to nice people. But I, I Cause nice people can be nice be, and was, hate your guts. Yeah, absolutely. Nice people can be, sound nice and be nice 
He got no, no, all no, no. of his points off in a very eloquent. <laughs> like it was nice. It was like, yo, I could kill you, yeah. but <laughs> I understand you. I'm in a different space right now. <laughs> yeah, and no, yeah. I, I think he was being very. Genuine. No, that sounds sincere because, like, I, I, I think I'm a pretty nice person. I just won't talk to somebody if I don't like them. Yeah, you just like fuck him. Yeah. The convo I had before him that got off the same points. They seemed very genuine. Like, nah, it didn't he seem was like a super yeah, cool, extremely man. fluid. Like this is how I think. I'm not even that mad. I'm just trying to understand. He was a nice guy, man. He was a nice guy. But we did have the conversation about artists and the mental health rollout. Oh yeah, yeah. that that was the conversation that we had. And while while that conversation will remain confidential, of course, mm -hmm. we had it. Mm -hmm. And I and I expressed to him that I think that's a conversation that should be had. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's a conversation that that should be had on a broader stage by more and more people. Like, let's raise awareness if you're gonna do it. Uh, if all the artists are fucked up mentally, and let's tell the truth, we all are. <laughs> yeah, it's all yeah. of us. Yeah. It's it's all of us. Then shit, let's come together and hold hands like at the end of us and fucking spread the good word. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Nothing that a conversation can't <laughs> fix. I've never seen. Men sit down, have a conversation, and leave, and nothing was resolved. I've seen that plenty of times, but really, yeah, in hip hop, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe well, if when it was people business, aren't coming with, anger. maybe if it was business involved, like okay, that's different. But just like misunderstandings, I'm and, with you though. I'm just saying, yeah, it like, does I, happen. I, I don't, yeah, because none of the conversation came with anger. When you come with anger, sometimes that just gets you more riled up and now you're just having a screaming match. <laughs> yeah. But when someone is like mad logical and just says, yo, explain this to me because I do not understand a word you just said. Right. And that's kind of what the combo was. Okay. Yeah, like I had to explain things. <laughs> <laughs> to, to a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> in, in a nice way. You got to say it in a nice way. Like That's why niggas, you know, niggas ain't shit, man. It, it, when, when somebody approach you aggressively for you to explain something, like you prefer that almost mm -hmm. like that's how sick i am mm -hmm. like i would prefer you approach me with some aggression so just in case we need to get it there we can get it there just in case but when you're just a nice guy mm -hmm. and when i say get it there i don't mean violence i mean right. just heighten the level of whatever having this conversation Hash it out. i could be an asshole yeah. i could be a dick fuck you just generally be a man yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah you could be like a dude right, right. not when somebody's nice so you guys i want to work on being nice you hash it up you have been getting nicer i will say that do you think yeah Seriously, I don't know if you're joking or not. No, I'm serious. Where, where do you observe this? No, over the, like the past. Since I, I give Sin a lot of credit. You have been nicer. I'm, I'd like to be. Yeah, I mean you're still an asshole, but you're nicer than to you like were. the outer circle. I mean he's still Joe, it, but I think yeah. that I think a lot. I of think it, I'm a great dude if you know me. I probably am a real asshole to Big Sean and people that don't know me. Right. That's why I laugh sometimes because like. Push hit me laughing. Like, Push probably knows I'm an asshole a little bit, but it's funny. It's different. But right. Sean, Push, Push who, certainly knows you more than Sean <laughs> But does. Sean, who don't know me at all, it's like, yo, man. It's like, oh, <laughs> I got to switch it up here. Right? <laughs> you got to bring your tone down, your yeah, octave down. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> so next week is Love Big Sean week. I yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's happening. It's only right. Shout out to we're, Sean, we're, man. Say, yeah, yeah, you guys did, didn't really like my Metro Boone album. I understand that. Um. I hear you talk about 28. You didn't like, like, all right. Wait, who said, a, I love 28. It's a lot that you didn't. <laughs> who said they didn't like he it? He was talking oh, to the man. Oh, he was just talking to Joe. He, right. he was getting it off. I didn't I particularly like, like that. I did say that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I said that too. Damn. Oh, oh, you shit, heard that? I, I, yeah. Yeah, you oh, caught oh, that you one. follow. Oh, you listen. Oh, okay. you are. Oh, shit. God damn it. Sean knew the numbers of the episode. He said, yeah. yeah. And then in 216, you got off your shit. And he was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yo, he knows the numbers. It's like, that's crazy. Uh, stupid dope though Tell him we look forward To hearing some music Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do Yeah of As course. we do we I like it. most of his projects We've said it 2088 just wasn't for me It was Different very, vibe Yeah Try something different Young love Try something different I get yeah. it I um, What else What else happened important? Nothing happened important So what y'all want to talk about <laughs> let, let, let me not even put no sauce on it Oh hey My theory was proved Last podcast I told y'all That when, when guys say uh, do it for the culture. They really just mean do it for themselves. That theory was proved when Trey Song said that he heard Megan Thee Stallion single and that he might need to knock her head off for the culture. 
So I read that shit and I was like, fair. <laughs> well, you don't think the culture was like, yo, I can't wait till Trey beats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Trey, I'm not home waiting for you to get some pussy. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep it a beat. That has nothing. The culture will Damn. be fine if you don't knock Megan the Stallion's head off. <laughs> yo, like, yeah, you the culture a nasty will be okay. Person. If you see a Meg the Stallion video, go, oh, Trey would kill. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you a sick, sick. motherfucker. <laughs> Wait till Trey get that. <laughs> yeah. wait, till, wait till Trey beats. Oh my God. Niggas are sick. See how much of a stallion you really are when Trey walks in the room. <laughs> yeah. What type of culture? Is, I can promise Trey, I can promise you. There's no nigga that has ever thought about you just walking in the room and killing something. Like, no. Yeah. We don't think like that. Yeah, no, nah, I, nah, I, I, I think she bad, but you know who really thinks she bad? Right. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Fuck it, get your shit off, Trey. <laughs> Fuck it. See, I I appreciated her response. What she said? Mm, you, can't, you can't handle me, Trey. Can't handle this pussy. <laughs> oh, she didn't say it's pussy. Let me not say that. But yeah. yeah. Oh, she responded for real. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, mean man. <laughs> it's the fucking stallion. What, what did she say though? You said think, Trigger can't handle this. I don't think. What you think? Trigger wants some of the stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fam. What you think? <laughs> I'm, I haven't given this no thought <laughs> at all. Yeah. And you're not, Zero. And you're, you're not, not for the culture. culture yeah. You're not for the culture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, they right. told us that about Maul. Yeah, I guess you're right. He wasn't, right. he wasn't down. I guess you're right. Come man. on, man. Megan the Stallion. All right. Uh, <laughs> what, what you <laughs> He's calling Megan the Stallion. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure her name is Megan. Her name is Megan. I know, but <laughs> Meg. You want to just give it Meg? Well, that's her rap name. I was supposed to do a pull up with her. uh a few weeks ago when she was uh, in New York but she was doing press so I was like nah it's not going on even though you're press even though you what? are kind of press even though you're press I don't like to be press oh okay am I press yeah Joe <laughs> you don't like to be press and you have three major outlets that are press <laughs> sorry man and I don't think this podcast is press but I can make a huge argument that this podcast is press <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is not press we don't know shit <laughs> and nobody oh, in press and knows anything. Press no shit. <laughs> they don't know shit. Yeah, but they be trying. They get nah, they, they, they get they get they one sheet of trying. the information. <laughs> so last week you tweeted. Yeah. yeah, they they do all that. We don't do any of that. Oh, uh, I see you're from North Carolina. What's it like out there? I know that. <laughs> exactly. I know that intern one sheet. They get. Exactly. Come uh, on, man. You was at Sony. <laughs> <laughs> I, I printed it out. Um. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to be pressed. I don't think I'm pressed. Pull up his press. I told that's what I told Mick Sean. I said, listen, my platform is you guys' platform. Whenever you guys want to talk about something that we said up here that really fucking made you angry, come on down. Come on down. We can talk. I'm not as mad as you guys make me out to be. I'm a great Sean, guy to talk yeah. to. I think actually I think Sean should come kick it. That would be a good little I've time never ball. seen a, I don't think I've ever seen a conversation with Sean where he was really like like really like the Zane Lowe good- the Zane Lowe Big Sean interview we never so, seen it I'm, yeah, no, I'm cool streets ain't ready I'm cool I'm those cool. still happening is, is the culture ready for that the culture's uh-huh. not waiting for that yeah no one the culture's not waiting for any Zane Zane has his pulse on the culture right. Yo, when fuck out of here Zane Lowe this is not a Sean slight no one's waiting for a Zane Lowe interview I do think I would like a real interview from Sean though I feel like he avoids press uh, most of these people avoid press though and that's why I don't want to be do. considered as but you, press. But I think I think artists avoid press from. I appreciate when artists like, avoid press. But I, I think, think it's they great. avoid it from people that they feel like they are either not There's interested to in talking about. to or just wouldn't be interesting to hear. Essentially, like I don't think that I don't think they avoid it, but I think they just be like, "Yo, it's corny to go up there." Like I don't, I don't want to. Or someone that just doesn't interact with you or seem to be a fan. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's that would be. Sometimes weird. you got to sit down with people that you feel like you would have a. General An good actual, yeah. conversation. Yeah, somebody don't fuck with you. Yeah, not shit. just to be like, yo, I'm going to do radio. Like, I appreciate the artists that skip that shit, man. <clears throat> uh, did uh, Uzi put a new record out? Did y'all hear it? I didn't hear it yet. I didn't get a chance. I, didn't, no, I didn't hear it. I did not hear it. This is that's why we're not press. <laughs> See, exactly, exactly why we're not press. Um, okay, Melly versus Meek. Melly and Tory versus Meek. Want to get into that? They about to jump that nigga? For the people that are unaware, <laughs> somebody, somebody want to explain the backstory here? I'll explain it. Fuck it. Uh, and I don't really know the backstory. I know that Melly was on tour running around with me. She was in a whole bunch of Dream Chaser pictures and videos. She was and on the album. She, she was on the album. Killed it, too. Uh, Word. Yeah, she's been killing every time you, you see her. So uh, I never knew the affiliation. I never knew the relationship. I just figured that 
you know, Meek was supporting this this young dope artist. Uh, so Melly's album Phases is out now, which I didn't realize until I saw the her album is out. Yeah, yeah. her album came out. Oh, Phases, shit, I didn't even it's know. actually really good. Um, and yeah, like Tory Lanez posts a picture of Melly with this long caption. Actually, I'll read it if I can find my phone. With a long caption, basically just... I'll just read it, man. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, no, the album is good. Tori's on it. Boogie's on it. Here I was it shocked is. to not see Meek on it, and then this made sense. Tori Lanes at Smelly, and says, I am so proud of you. Watched you grind your way through everything. When people tried to play you, you kept your head strong and focused. I'm happy that you dropped your first real project today, Phases. And I'm also proud as fuck to announce and say that you are a part of our team. Welcome to One Umbrella, and let's take this shit to the top. Phases out now on all streaming platforms. So there's a lot of people that read that and said, uh, where the fuck did Tory Lanez come from? And that we've never heard of Tory and Melly. We've never seen that. You know, mm -hmm. it was just odd knowing that Melly's been running around with Meek. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Meek confirmed that when he commented underneath uh, the post and was like, uh, something, something about that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's corny, both of y'all. Some shit like that. I can't quote it because he did delete it. Mm -hmm. But and when I read him say, when I heard him say it, I was like, okay. Uh, I forgot about the Meek Tory relationship. They've collaborated a bunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I didn't know how to feel. And Melly responded. Melly responded. Uh, where is the Melly response? Let me try to find it. Well, in paraphrasing, she said that she's not gonna bash Meek and doesn't plan on it either, and hasn't. But she was put in some unwanted situations that women wouldn't appreciate amongst that whole thing. She basically just said she had to do what she had to do for her career and for the betterment of her career. And she had to pick a team that was going to support her. And she handled it very well. I thought so. I, I will say that whatever, so. whatever she wrote out, actually I'll be fine. Cause I don't want to be yeah, that I guy. It. I got it right here. All so right. I here we go. Let's read this thing. I thought she handled this well. This says, it's easy to judge and argue about things that are not true and seem a certain way because of social media. But not once have I bashed Meek or ever plan on doing so. I got off tour because a lot of behind the scenes things that were happening to me. I made sure to get out. Uh, I made sure to get out my way to do things. Wait, I made sure to go out my way to do the things that can help me stay with the team because I genuinely want to be a part of the family but it just didn't work out it was addressed and I tried to hold a conversation that wasn't an option that was given to me so I moved I moved and got offered support from another team I never intended to snake anyone if anything I tried my best to work around many things that put me in uncomfortable situations as a woman a lot of things I stood for weren't there so I took the high road and gracefully mo I removed myself uh, bless up, call me whatever. I still respect Meek and off of emotions. It's okay to react the way he did. But if we all take a step down and see it for what it is, I'm not the crazy bitch or the ungrateful person you want to make yourself believe I am. My decision with going with Umbrella was based off an offer that was already there from years ago and wanting to better my craft and where I felt I belong. Still to this day, I'm grateful for him putting me on his album, uh, for the mentions on social media, and for allowing me to be on your tour since other members went to do other stuff. And well, thank you to Sherry, the manager, which I had who I had a real relationship with. So I mean, she she handled that as clap. She, she didn't say. Okay. Yeah. Whenever I hear Sherry, I think Sherry. Me, yeah, me too. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly what she was talking but about. But I think she handled that. I think she handled that as well as you could. Where do y'all fall? Where do y'all fall in this if you fall anywhere? I, I mean, mean, there were, there was another Instagram comment, which I'm sure was deleted. So I don't know if I even want to repeat it because I don't know if she. She implied that Meek was trying to sleep with her, essentially. And I assumed that before she said it. So. <laughs> yeah. But why would you? And that's not that? to try and shit on me. Yeah. Because she's an attractive girl and, and he's an attractive guy. When people see two attractive people together a lot, they assume that something yeah, is happening exactly. or that something, something somebody's trying happen. to make something happen. Yeah. And when and when you hear that two attractive people are not doing something together, the first thing you think is why not? <laughs> that's true. So that's why. I didn't pretend to know. In the event that it did happen though, I do have to say that like in the music business, keep your business separate from your dick. Like, I mean, yeah, it sounds good on paper, yeah, but in the bars, music business. Knock it off. <laughs> hey, man. 
I agree. With, I agree with you. But I mean, in all business, really, but especially, it seems to happen a lot in the music business. There's a lot of people that have been accused of those type of things, and it's not cool, man. See, that's a different conversation. When you but start talking about people being accused of things, that's very different from somebody just courting someone. <laughs> and true. and also, some artists aren't businessmen. They're Word. artists. Word one one hundred percent. They just artists. Who but, all right, let's. We who, don't know that that. Who else is on Dream Chasers? I'm not sure. Yeah. Who was uh, on One Umbrella? I, I'm not. I, that was my first time ever hearing on One Umbrella. But I, I don't doubt. Good luck, Millie. I don't I doubt I don't, Tory producing for other artists. He would be great. At oh that. no, I don't. I, I I think he. I think actually. I think that's and it, I, it makes sense. Tory and it, make, it makes all the sense in the world. Because I can hear Melly a Melly and Tory, and Tory record. <laughs> yeah, like, I can hear it. You know what I mean? Like, and oh, Tor- I can well, hear Tori's Tori executive album. producing some shit. Yeah. Tori's on Melly's album. It sounds good. Even the, the Melly record with A Boogie, I felt like if that would have been Tori, even though that record is dope. Yeah. But What I came away from this was, and again, I'm coming from the artist's perspective and the artist's side of things. Uh, yeah, that that I feel me a little bit. Because that be, you know, I've helped a bunch of people that have gone on to do other things and didn't really remember or look out for the help. Mm-hmm. So I feel him But I, I feel her <laughs> I mean right. she said She was grateful But also at the end Of the day Meek has his own career Dream Chasers Has their own thing You can't sit there And wait For somebody to understand I hate the word vision But your vision Of your career Like even if you have that Feeling in your stomach Like nah This just ain't it I'm sitting here waiting On these people That don't even but understand ex- but- I have to put myself first And if I think Going with Tori I'm I gonna to- do that I totally disagree I think the exact opposite. If if you uh, if you're trying to get with a team, then you kind of do expect them to get your vision and commit to it and do whatever has to be done to to make it happen. Well, no, we're saying the same thing. That's why she left. Yeah, I mean, you you have artists that like you have to go. You, with sound, what you, you know about yourself more than any other person on earth. If you're an artist, yeah, and you know what you want to do. You want to know how you want to roll your shit out. You have your plan in your head. And if you have to sit here and wait on someone else that also has their own career, and they may, may not be as focused naturally because they have their own career. Any I'm artist that's trying that. to sign to another artist, I'm saying kind of no. Some people focus practice should have to maybe practice patience at a time. Uh, I'm sure they wanted to drop before the artist they were signed to felt they should drop. Like, I, there's a lot of issues that can come from artists signing to artists. Like, I agree with you if I'm a solo artist, but I've always just been a solo artist. Actually, my clash, I've clashed anytime I wasn't a solo artist. So, I'm not but if I'm there. signed to somebody else, or if I'm trying to be signed to somebody else and they're an artist, like she had, she had an album she was trying to drop. Shit, Meek is on tour. Like, right. what, what do you want me to do right this second? <laughs> Which is why I'm not waiting on someone else for my shit. If you don't think that that label, and I'm not saying this is the case, just hypothetically, because mm. we don't know. If you feel that that entity doesn't have the foresight that you have with your album and your buzz, and they're focused on their career as they should be, no, I'm, I'm going with the better option that I think is really going to facilitate what I'm trying to do. I, I think, think that I, it's always tricky when you sign with, uh, an, with an, artist. an artist. It's, yeah. it's always tough. And especially always, when you always, sign always with always an tough. artist that doesn't have a lot of years in. And well, the, in the business. The of, thing about yeah, this, too, yeah. is, is she wasn't really actually signed to Meek. Like, she was just fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? She was kind of rolling with the camp. But that's cool. But I no, don't know. No paperwork. But we don't know what that Meek wasn't trying to sign this young lady. Oh, no, I'm that's not fine. saying he I'm wasn't. Not, yeah. But he, was she signed? Obviously. Clearly not. not. Right. right. So I think that's slightly different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, but, we, and that's fucked up, though, because as, as an artist, you do shit in good faith. Mm-hmm. Like, if I have plans on signing you and I'm going on tour, you know how timely tour is. Especially somebody are. like Meek. Meek is, he's from the streets. A lot of his shit is on word and. Like, of principal, course. like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm fucking with you. I'm going to put you in a position, whatever, whatever. I'm sure he didn't roll out a bunch of paperwork. and Because Meek is not, he's still a rising artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he's not really in business 
mode like that to where he would have paperwork and get her signed right now. But I've seen situations like that and amicably where it's just like, all right, cool, you got to do your own thing because no, I'm busy. Absolutely. But if I need you for absolutely. something, holla. Like, and you and should- that, that's what I'm saying. And I feel like Melly kind of said that in there. I'm very grateful for everything you've done for me. You put me on tour. You put yeah. me on one of the biggest albums of 2018. Yeah. I'm with you, but I need to do what's best for me. Well, yeah, she yeah, said that. I don't, I don't owe you anything. I left the tour. I try to be respectful. I try to be grateful. That's, that's why I'm with Melly on this. So you got to go with what's better for your career. We saw the same thing. Well, I don't know if this is the same comparison. I don't know. That this but we saw it with Jay Alec. With, with, he was with Puff. Puff was doing all his ad libs. Puff was rotten with Jay Alec all the way. And then Jay was like, all right, you rock nation now. And then Puff went on Twitter and was like, wow, I feel like I've been betrayed by a friend. And just, I mean, the last and just time. Blaze was involved at some point with that too. So the last time was, I could remember something like this that really worked out in the artist on the other artist's behalf was probably Drake in the weekend. Like that, you know, the weekend didn't want to sign. Right. There's ways to end amicably, is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's all love. It's like, listen, you got to do what you got to do for your career. Yeah. Like, and I Drake think it's such I think a big weekend, star. I might get lost in that. Yeah, like, but the weekend. This isn't a slight weekend, to OVO, but he kind of outgrew being under an artist label. Absolutely. No, I agree. Like, <laughs> I agree. Go get I your own shit. But that, that's well, that's where the distinction is for me. Like, the, the weekend went on to bet on his talent alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not saying Melly is not. But she is leaving one artist to, to go deal to another, with another, yeah. artist. another yeah, artist, and it's true. not like this. This other other artist is not busy. <laughs> That's true. But I'm Tor- sure Tori she's has, had those talks. Tori with has him. chicks tape five coming. Tori, I'm he's sure, on tour right now. has an album coming. Is he on tour? He's open. Oh Drake. yeah, he's opening well, for Drake on the motivation tour. She certainly could have went. She had enough buzz, I feel like, to go independent or find a situation that was more beneficial. Because, like, we're talking about this, and I'm a fan of hers. And I follow her, I think, on Twitter and maybe Twitter. Her buzz is new. Not Instagram and Twitter. Her buzz is new buzz. And new, yeah. I didn't know For she certain. had an album out, is all I'm saying. So she didn't have enough buzz <laughs> to go independent. It's somewhere someone is not doing the job to promote this properly. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I guess we know Melly just from New York. I mean, I guess the world kind of caught on to her from the Meek verse, no? Right. Yeah, that was her coming out party nationwide. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, can only speak because we knew about her just from being around. But right. I yeah, think I, to the world, I that was of, probably... Yeah, it. I knew of her before that and then she kept dropping fire. Yeah, she kept like, dropping fire. That's, yeah. that's what yeah. sold me on it. Like, mm. Yeah, fuck the verse. You, you're you consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you can hear it on the album. Like, I don't know if she's writing this shit or what, but she has a, a very clear... I think Melly's writing that shit. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. The album has a sound and it sounds like her. <laughs> Right, like for a new act, that's important. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, well, we'll shit, see. We shall see, though. I, yeah, I hope I it works think, out for everybody. I just think the way Tory works and how he's a fucking machine when it comes to putting out music and music that sounds so different. I can see signing to an artist like that. Meek is is slower to in to a, a good thing with Meek because he takes his time with his music. He's got to live his life. He's got to get content in his own life. But Tory is a machine. Tori could put out an album off one week of recording. Yeah, and I so I think when you get in a studio with someone like that, as an artist signed to you, that's better. And the show, Meek be chilling, have, and yeah. Meek should be chilling because that's how he creates. I think, yeah. I think Tori better, beat. I think better for an artist of that talent level with a buzz that she, in my opinion, has or can get quickly. Maybe not signing to an artist and signing to someone that's I'm a little bit more ever tailored. signing to an artist, right? <laughs> if yeah. you have to. You know, Park just say shit that I don't feel like it's easy for an artist to do. I don't think any new act is thinking, all right, I'm going to just go get this buzz quickly. And, <laughs> she had and, a buzz, though. Cool. I don't think she thinks it came quick, especially if... Well, if, no one thinks it comes quick. I never think I come quick, but... <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Now that you said that, for real, I'm fucking up, man. <laughs> yeah, I got go my, go my little sex bag the other day. <laughs> your sex Why you got a what's, sex bag? What's in your sex bag? You know what I mean? No, no. In lube. My, in my, <laughs> you said glue? Lube. No, oh. not glue part. Different lube. <laughs> glue is not in my sex bag. I would hope not. <laughs> it's a crazy sex bag. That's a nasty <laughs> But Alberto, oh, you had you had handcuffs. Alberto right, of Harrison used to do wild shit with lighters and pennies and pens. 
but uh, that's different. He was into them Asian chicks that was wild. Left, and left, I, I was left only sixteen, so I didn't really. With know. the left, I go into my sex bag the other day. I'm, well, I'm, pull I'm, out. I'm on the same page. Don't worry about it. Just fast forward. Okay. Go in my sex bag the other day. I pull out the little tricks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Finish the job. Yeah. Single look over, talking about. All right, that was a nice quickie. <laughs> I'm like quickie. <laughs> That was the long game. <laughs> that was supposed to be make you right for the month. You were supposed to be good for damn, the month. The fucking, <laughs> damn, I thought that was the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you would be coming back tonight for some more. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the rule, the quickie rules together. That nigga said coming back tonight. <laughs> yeah, you thought she was night night after that? Yeah, I thought that nah. was out and lights out. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. I thought she was out like a light, <laughs> like a light. She was wide awake. So I'm like, all right, what else you got in the bag? In the sex bag, <laughs> bitch, nothing. Nothing more stressful than that <laughs> nigga shit. Nigga Joe had the bag upside down, shaking it. It's empty. He like, fuck you mean? That's it. Yeah, yeah, Emptied it. it out. Nah, ain't, ain't nothing left. Yeah, right I was there. glued to pardon interruption there. <laughs> <laughs> See what Tony Corn and I are talking about. <laughs> She's sitting there with naked waiting for more. <laughs> That is hilarious. All right, the Giants might get Rosen now. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said that was the long game. Yeah, thank you. That nah. was a dope little quickie game. Yeah, fam. Nah. <laughs> that was the, that was the nigga total, was sweating that shit. That was the total <laughs> package. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Nah, All right. Total uh, package, my nigga. How long is a quickie? It's, it's subjective. Nah, 10 minutes ain't nah, no quickie, does, goddamn whoever it. Whoever does 10 first. Is not a 10 quickie. minutes ain't no quickie. Nah, hell no. 10 minutes ain't a quickie, Sin. 10 minutes in sex is like 10 minutes in a fight. Like, <laughs> think, yeah. 10 minutes in a fight? Why? Yeah. What minutes. fight do you be in? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, a 10 minute yeah, fight. I'm not fighting like, no nigga for 10 for minutes. 10 minutes? <laughs> what, I'm not crazy? fighting no nigga. Listen, after the third minute, it's like, yo, fam, we could just talk three about minutes. this at this point. Fam. Like, <laughs> fights are like 45 seconds to a minute at most. 10 minutes? I'm not fighting nobody for three minutes. Nah, that's what I'm saying. At three minutes, it's like, yo, dog. Oh, this shit is crazy. <laughs> like, what are we doing out yeah, here? It's supposed to be all 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, like, fam. if don't nobody win after 40 seconds, why we, why we, what happened? Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's what, I'm what was our disagreement yeah, about? Talking about? <laughs> we right. had talk, we had talk hours now. Like, yeah, right, yeah. 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 All right, I'm gonna fight with a nigga on Twitter for 10 minutes. <laughs> what the fuck I'm fighting for in real, real life for? No, I think, I think a quickie is. It ain't 10 minutes. Ago. Whoever nuts first. Well, nah. I'm nut first. <laughs> no, let's, let's be clear in that I'll race if she starts sounding like she about to come <laughs> Are you sick? Yeah, she's talking about Oh, don't stop that, man. <laughs> All right, All right no, focus on Here me now Here comes the stop Focus on me now <laughs> That is funny, man uh, I took my little thing No, you got uh, quick, Quickie like 2.30, 3 minutes two seven, man I think quickie is like if it's like how many positions it's one position I think it's a quickie quickie is definitely one position yeah. it's usually from the back yeah, or the side like on the wake up yeah in the morning I'd be like, so mad when I bust before I get into my position bag <laughs> <laughs> when you have plans and they yeah, just get killed like, ooh, when I get to the side oh fuck 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 <laughs> <laughs> God damn Nigga start thinking about A bunch of yeah, random shit I was gonna kill that pussy From the side nah, man, I didn't get there though Pussy's still alive My nigga Yeah pussy that pussy alive. is breathing Great pussy <laughs> 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 is breathing In my head I be tearing you up <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a beat With y'all <laughs> In my head uh, I ain't worried about that think, sipping paint, nigga. But that's why. But no, nah, but I'm it's telling clearly you, you still concerned, my nigga. That's nah, because she brought him up again the next day. So, I, hey, that sipping paint, bitch. All right, listen, that was a joke the other day. Now, all right, why are you still talking about this nigga? But that's why it's funny because you never know when you're killing a pussy. Like you never really know. Like if a chick, if your chick just be like, yeah, that shit was kind of trash. Like. Even though you feel like you killed it, you have to think in the back of your mind, like, damn, was it trash? <laughs> now, it'd be a facade during, because sometimes they'd be extra. When you're done is when you really figure sometimes. it out. Sometimes. Like when the relationship true. is over? No, like no, when, you, nah. when you're done. Like, oh. Yeah, when it's over. You know you gave her some trash shit. Yeah. You could feel it out once it's over. Like if she get up and start looking, thinking about what she's going to wear to work tomorrow, like she was trash? <laughs> when she throw her if fucking she head up. in your chest and it is knocked out, you did all right. Okay. That's how you know I don't do I no more. I get right out of the bed and go on. <laughs> I go on right, I, yeah, I go on right about my day. Like, I, know how, I know how she feel about no. things. When she, when she I don't want to give her opportunity in, to talk about whole it. Whole face yeah. in your neck. She's sweating. I'm like, all right, I did all right. That's but other funny. than that, no, if she go do something, 
When she get it's up over. and run in the bathroom, slam the door. <laughs> water slam running. The she door. in there for 90 minutes now. You just sitting there. You hear Pardon a, interruption went off. You hear a low humming noise. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna say, she had to get her shit off in the bathroom. Yeah. Like you come back from the ba- from the bathroom and she you see the blankets moving in her hand. <laughs> She's like, oh, all right. I guess my shit was whack. Then you step on her little toy. <laughs> I kick that shit right across the room, bitch. <laughs> ain't gonna sit there and get thrilled. Thrilled. I'ma just watch you in the toy. Oh, why not though? Nah. N- nah. Nah. Yeah, you go to Nah, you wait, you wait till I'm until I'm gone. Oh, okay. Wait till, wait till I'm going to pleasure yourself that way. I but I think I think I think no. women do that in hopes that it'll turn us on. Because that's to go, happened to, to me. Go right and I was back. like, nah, do your thing. And then I would say, oh yeah, you're killing that. <laughs> like I didn't even know what to do. Oh, I was so yeah, insecure. I was like, damn. No, he on his Instagram. No, we are not. Yo, you killing that? Mad insecure, laying on the bed. You start like, talking for uh, the toy, like get that shit. Wow, <laughs> get that shit. Get that shit. Yo, you start talking dick. for the toy. <laughs> Yo, kill that shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, kill that shit. Oh, toy going here. <laughs> Whoa, what's, what city oh, wait, is that oh, on? Oh wait, when they turn it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, my tongue can't do that <laughs> At all Hey, at hey all. bitch, glad you got that toy Yeah, I can't do that, sorry That's wild, oh. cause, cause we in my house Like, where'd you get that from? <laughs> she bought it with her <laughs> she that, was, with that was in your purse? <laughs> what you thought was gonna why, happen? She why, tucks why, under her why, side Why was that in my end table? <laughs> <laughs> Savon over there tight This bitch got one of them shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When we start off low, <laughs> shit sound like a weed whacker. Like, God God damn, hey, I'm glad you got that because my dick ain't doing none of that. <laughs> nah. Not a thing. We can't, we can't compete. <laughs> Enjoy with that yourself. Shit. Dick ain't got batteries, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are hitting the road. Well, we're hitting the road. We're on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Currently we're when, you're, when you're hearing this uh, Tonight we are in LA Don't bother searching for it It's sold out Tomorrow we're in Oakland It's probably sold out Leave it alone Nah, Savon's list Just hit up Savon mm-hmm. In the Joe Bun Pod DMs <laughs> The need to know Try DMs to I can get tell the, the I can, does list I, I can tell when niggas Sneak a name on the list But don't want to tell you Then they just try to Slowly walk them around Where you are Introduce them You're like, who's Tanya? Yeah. Hey Joe, Everybody this is uh, quiet. <laughs> yeah, a fuck about yo, Tanya. You, yo, you know her. <laughs> you met her before. Yeah, he trying to fucking have her walk him to get the rider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, she's helping out because you know we need some extra hands. Yeah, yeah extra hands. <laughs> extra, extra hands. hands. That's extra. the intern. That's one of the four uh, interns. See what you did there to do. She's an intern. Nasty ass do. <laughs> she's an intern. <laughs> Y'all ain't even see. Y'all not even peeping how uh, Savon walking around with the "Just Do It" jacket. <laughs> the do, just do. The Maybe do, you just, just do. Park just that. do. Uh, hey, y'all met one of the interns in Dallas, in Fort Worth. Playing Parks her. drop for Savon. Yeah, I met her. Yeah. Close enough. I'm sick. <laughs> this Parks. What's that? Uh, the- <laughs> <laughs> That's Savon's drop. Yo, so we in LA tonight. We in Oakland tomorrow. Tickets were announced yesterday for Detroit, Chicago, DC, and Boston, if I'm not mistaken. Savon's not. He's just Gang, texting somebody. Yeah. Gang. Would Gang. you look up and tell me if I'm right? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, so that's D.C., Chicago, Detroit, and Boston. Tickets are on sale now. Um, check your local ticket master. Do we have the dates? What dates are we there? Uh, Chicago, May 18th. Head May up. 18th. What day is that? Don't bore. <laughs> <laughs> they better not have put us in <laughs> <laughs> Hold up now. <laughs> huh? They put the gods out there on a Saturday. Saturday in the shop. In Chicago. Oh, my God. Uh, Pizza night with the boys. (laughs) Deep dish. Uh, We need need to settle this. We need to settle this. What movie are we going to watch together, (laughs) y'all? After the show. (laughs) I'm thinking, what, some Tom Hanks shit, maybe? Castaway? Tom Hanks. A little Castaway. Big. Maybe Save the Last Dance because it's in Chicago. Yeah. Because it's in Chicago. <laughs> Look, Rory okay. thought he came. <laughs> <laughs> you did that one, Rory. Yo, yo, it's, in yo Chicago. it's in Chicago, dog. <laughs> Let's do it. Save the last dance with the fellas. What day is Detroit? Uh, May 19th. Okay. 
Detroit's a sleeper. Detroit on a Sunday. <laughs> Shake things day. up in the D. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I fuck with Detroit. I love Hell Detroit. Hell yeah. Love Detroit. What's the other date, Savon? Uh, Washington, D.C., May 30th. May 30th. What, what day of the week is that? That is a Thursday. Thursday. Washington, right. D.C. I could do D.C. on a Thursday. Yeah. Boston, May 31st. Boston, May 31st. That's a Friday. Oh, we're going to have to go right from Boston to Roots. Wait, we got to leave D.C. rough. D.C. <laughs> so, wait, we, 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 leave, we staying the night in D.C. You sick. No, fuck we have that. to come out to this, though. I'm not hitting... Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're staying the night in D.C. Fuck that. <laughs> Hitting the road after the DC show to drive to Boston. <laughs> it's a word. This time I'm walking in the crib when Sin find out that we're in Chicago on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sick nigga, man. Coming in at six, <laughs> six foot one with the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you killed him with the red sweats too. Mm. Mm, you see how I took it there <laughs> from Newport <laughs> University. <laughs> <laughs> Man, play the music. Jersey City Community Don't. College. <laughs> the Lincoln High School dropouts. <laughs> Joe <laughs> Budden. <laughs> New Boy Lincoln University Lincoln. is nuts. Niggas know about me in the shot. In the shot. Who knows about you in the shot? Niggas. <laughs> no, no, niggas know you in the shot, man. You don't think so? No. How many times you been to Chicago? Mad times. Really? Bunch of times. Man, I've only had a 16 year career. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know where your market. I didn't know your market. Was, 99 was percent of it being on the road. Uh, Chicago was always a dope show. Listen, it, yeah, I'm about to say when when my career looked like it was in a hellhole and my fans thought I wouldn't gain control again. <laughs> Game control. Shot held you down. The shit. The yeah, shot I, I, I was, back. I was sold out in the shot still. <laughs> yeah. I was That's sold out. You in showed the shot. E1 like yo, Chicago feeling us. <laughs> Chicago's filling us. They holding us down out there. It's only right. Where are the marketing dollars here? <laughs> Why are you ignoring my main markets? <laughs> when artists get into that bag. Yeah. That shit is so funny, man. Yo, why are you ignoring New York? You live in New York. Yeah. Like, yeah, you what do you want us to do yeah. here, man? Like, like, go to the club like, or something. Yeah, like, nigga, you sold out SOBs for 15 years. Right. That's why we're here. What the fuck you mean? We're not dumping the money in front of SOBs, buddy. Sorry. Just and that's only funny because wasn't, wasn't, wasn't their office right next to SOBs? It was a Buffett. <laughs> How the label not even want to walk to the show? They took right the elevator to the green room. Yeah, the funny right shit is E one had E one had or has, I want to say has like a whole TV network production side. That was yeah, bigger than their label side. I was going to say that's yeah. Entertainment One. Yeah, you was the side shit. <laughs> we were the one. <laughs> well, I don't know when the musicians are going to realize that all of us are the side shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. <laughs> That is that is that's really. Wait, you, wait, you, you think Universal great. cares about niggas, their artists? Yeah. 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 I, don't, I never get why the artists run around feeling themselves. You think what? you think Warner Brothers is really invested? Or <laughs> ET makes more money than <laughs> all your <laughs> <hell> motherfuckers. <laughs> ET, you seen Bugs Bunny Rider? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Twenty One Savage. Yeah. <laughs> Not worried about you, nigga. Bugs is killing them. <laughs> Worried about Bugs Bunny is keeping the lights on. Yeah, oh, that's Believe some bullshit. That. Oh, we decide. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what fans say about the, uh, the what's what's his entree line? Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, it's uh, what, fuck. What is the bar? <laughs> it's so into you, right? Fam, go fuck us. <laughs> up. What good is the entree if you ain't got something, something on, on the, the side? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good yeah, point. Yeah, because the entree. Ain't yeah, I need my mashed potatoes, man. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm yeah, gonna get a mad. Steak by you, itself is kind of hard. In real life, baby, don't worry about it. If you bring my mash out early and just, just I just gotta eat mash and wait on my steak, I'm gonna be tight. What if it's Waffle good? House is good for that bullshit. Oh, they yeah. do. They'll they bring, bring the whatever, Waffle House later. I'll wait for the eggs. <laughs> no, just don't bring the waffle. Like, I'll <laughs> smoke the hash brown and bacon 20 minutes before yeah. my waffle come out. <laughs> oh, fucking Waffle House, man. Uh, all right, so we are in Chicago, Castaway, and what were we doing? Castaway and what? Castaway and chill cast with away the fellas. And, cast away and pizza. Away. After the show, we ain't gonna go out on a Saturday night in a fucking major market like Chicago, no, no. as beautiful as that place is. <laughs> Wait, and it's kind that of is one of the best skylines. Wait, if we there on Saturday, where we at on Friday? We in Detroit before or after? 
Yeah, after. They gave us a day. Oh, we could get to Chicago on Friday. <laughs> Cast away on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> yo, we could double up. Shoot, pizza is so hard on Friday. Uh, yo, yo, I need crazy. to go shoot content. <laughs> Damn, we get two pizza nights. <laughs> that's hard, yo. Damn, sin. two pizza nights. <laughs> Damn, sin. Yeah, we get we get a Harold's on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pizza and chicken. Take that for the mm-hmm. FaceTime before bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Joe is stupid, man. Yeah, he's, he's, you know you go home after this, right? But Rory won't ever join me anymore, okay. so it sounds nuts. I told you give me a few it weeks. Sounds, it sounds, <laughs> he I, did nah, tell you to give him a few weeks. I, I, know, weeks. Jumping right I gotta back keep in, the like, edge, no yeah. fuss, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the edge music in Chicago. Well, yeah, nah, this is too. That bum ass used to get me hype as a kid when the what? Ball was about to play. I was hype just now. It works. <laughs> it still works. It's Trying to get work. the two on two. That shit is Stretching hard. Out my shoulders. Only oh, other man. song besides that to get you hype is the Rocky song. Yeah, Eye of the Tiger. <sighs> See, the that's tiger. white hard. Yeah, that's, that's, that's white. That's pop. white hard. That's white motivation. <laughs> yeah, is that, that pop? White people got you. <laughs> that pop. It's mainstream. No, that's pop. <laughs> How could that not be pop? That's pop. But that's not pop. There are no elements, see, and that's where it's confusing. That is a pop song. Anyways, pop, pop, as, pop as in popular. No, but guys, Nav is upset that no one will take a picture of him. <laughs> Yo, stop talking is, about pop. Who is Nav? <laughs> Yo, honestly, I've, it's been a question I've been dying to ask people for years, but I've been embarrassed and ashamed because anytime you see his name, it just feels like you should not know what Nav is doing. But, but I, who the fuck is Nav? That's what he's saying. You should know what he's doing. Nav, I have no idea who you are. And I'm not, no disrespect. But here's some disrespect. <laughs> see, but only in hip hop is it disrespectful that I don't know you. <laughs> like, yeah, that that should like no not other, be disrespectful I like that no I don't know you. Oh, you was the dude on the uh, Travis album that you couldn't hear. Yeah, like his verse came in and you, <laughs> you Man, thought, like, maybe. How'd he get that call? Trav ain't called Nav. That's his guy. They fuck with each other, though. Yeah, I think that's Trav doing, fucks bro. with Nav? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, man. So why isn't Nav more famous? <laughs> You'd have that's to ask what he, TMZ. That's what he's trying to figure TMZ out. TMZ doesn't take pictures of him. That's what he's trying to figure out. Is he is he someone that TMZ should be taking pictures of? I don't know. For the people, that, that, for the people that don't know the backstory, Nav was complaining that no, he no, walks no, no, out wait, on sunset. No, Rory, no. You saying backstory. <laughs> Tell me who Nav is. You want the front story? <laughs> yeah. No, no this is the backstory. This. Give them the front story, Rory. Nav walks on sunset with all his jewelry right in his Lambo truck. And nobody And cares. TMZ right on the corner. Is there a Lambo Hitting truck? Chanel West Coast with yeah. all the footage. Mm. And he just he just skirt <laughs> off with no pics. Damn. He go check wire images after uh, like he go, on, <laughs> he go on Getty. He can't find nothing. <laughs> don't say the Nav is doing wire images. <laughs> he, 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 he clicked. He don't see none of his Nav shit. Nav hit what's yeah. popping.net and can't find nothing. That Hashtag that, Nav. That, that was me after I killed Mars 2112. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely on seven days, seven nights. You gotta be. <laughs> so my, oh, he was on there too. For sure. He was on it. For sure. You had a couple good seven days, seven, seven nights. Seven nights was Instagram. That, that was the Instagram. What's popping.net? I know. The flicks. They, they, they steal everything. Think from us more. You're right. Damn. That's dude. pop. Damn. So Nav was trying Instagram to say is something. Pop. <laughs> Instagram is pop. <laughs> Instagram is pop. That's Instagram really is pop. pop. For yeah. sure. Uh all right, so who's Nav? <laughs> Nav no, is, but I feel him though, because if Nav TMZ ain't taking a picture of you outside the airport, my nigga, it is it is stressful. But Nav as an artist. If if TMZ is not taking a picture of you and you want a picture from TMZ, we need to reevaluate your entire career choices. People are running from that camera. Why are you putting on all your jewelry to get to it? Because he know, because Nav know that people running from the camera. No, the people that's running from the camera really want to be away from the camera. But <laughs> sometimes the artists that like we be fronting. <laughs> like, we, we be wanting yo, to talk to here at 10 o'clock we, we be wanting to talk to TMZ and I'll we be give the dude a, running Damn man yo, You're following me everywhere now What you wanna know <laughs> Yeah I thought that be, shit was whack That he did Nigga be dead fresh Talking about yo Y'all gotta chill Y'all just be running up on me But what happened yeah. What's up man? But what's what up? happened Exactly <laughs> Oh you seen this new chick I'm with Yeah <laughs> Fuck out of here Oh she just met me He took that whole Bingo by the way He took that whole line Way too seriously Did I might, he I might call the paparazzi On myself but he didn't call him. He just be with AI well, and they don't never they don't never flick him up. He gotta get the number. But my thing is why do you care about Travis, that? Travis Scott wasn't in a room full of people when he decided to put Nav on the album. Like he ain't shit. Like, yo, you think Nav should do this part? And then the room erupted. 
<laughs> Does the room ever erupt? <laughs> yeah, sometimes <laughs> erupted. I don't know. I think they, I think they really fuck. With, I think they have a real personal relationship. Like Nav, really I've other. I've never met you. I don't know much about you. Please don't take anything I'm saying as disrespectful. I'm trying to learn about you. I do think it's hilarious though, and I agree with them. <laughs> That's yeah. fucked up when if they want to take I, a if picture. If I got a Lambo truck and ain't nobody taking a picture, I'm going to get a Prius. <laughs> I'm like, man, fuck this. Like, Spend all that money. Yeah. The whole fuck advance. This. Fuck can I, this. Ooh, could I get a Lambo truck more? No. no. Damn, why Van ain't take no pictures of Nav? <sighs> That's a good point. You ain't get Nav in the pod. Van, what's up, man? Van need why to get Nav, Nav Why on Nav his pod? can't get no photos from your phone? He need to get on. He, Van need to get Nav on his pod. Yeah. <laughs> the Van Nav. <laughs> The Van Nav edition of the Red Pill Podcast. Mm, <laughs> Sound like a bad highway. <laughs> and, and a bad hybrid truck car. <laughs> truck car. Ooh, the Van Nav. The Van Navigator. <laughs> Ooh, freak the game. <laughs> oh, you got that new Van Nav? <laughs> Nav, Nav is signed to where? Toronto. Right. Well, I think he's signed to XO. All right, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what is this? I love that this is the new outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on, I ain't gonna lie I do feel a lot better When this shit comes on It brightens my spirit I know this pain Can white people come on And say they know about pain Yeah he signed the XO Republic So nowhere Nah <laughs> that's, that's, that's That's not nowhere Alright where is it Republic got the stars they got who? The stars. They do have stars in the Republic. Drake, Conda, Nikki. Drake's on Republic? Weekend. They got some more. The Republic kind of took all that young money shit. Oh, okay. You just said Drake. Nikki. Nikki. Weekend. The Weekend. And three stars. You, and you want me to believe that that's the label that said, all right, give Nav a call. <laughs> No, they were they were trying to get the photographer hey, a call. Bidding was it bidding war. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wanted Nav? Can you play me a Nav song? I'm not trying to be funny. No, I, listen, my new shit after this podcast is I'm not hating on niggas no more. That shit is over with. It's about spreading love. Big Sean called me a king. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, knock it off. <laughs> I am not a king. I'm not a king. I'm not a king. I'm not a king. He's like, no, you are. You a king. I'm really not, Sean. <laughs> uh, look, Rory ain't rushing to get, play the Nav song. Because I don't know. The only one I know is the verse from the Travis shit. I don't know none of Nav's music. And that's well, why not disrespect Nav either. Why keep talking? I don't know. <laughs> People like Nav, I guess. I do not know one Nav, Nav song. Hive? No, there's a hate hive of Nav. Why do they do the Nav like that? Be I just know he's the butt of a lot of jokes on the top line. Nav, I've never I've, listened to a Nav song in my life. Oh, you can't do that. I was the butt of jokes my whole career. I thought I was nice still. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, didn't let that dim my, amper he, my confidence. You had the Lambo truck, though. Why can't get a Lambo truck, Maul? Why would you, why, why Bad would you want a Lambo truck? truck? Why would you want a Lambo truck? I haven't seen it, but I'm just asking why I can't get I one. Mean, certain shit is just... This nigga more won't let me get nothing. No, I... I no, won't you let can me get... get I can't saying, get the book shit. bag. No, I can't sir, get... <laughs> that's corny shit. That's why I like it. Tesla? Transport. Uh, I can get a Tesla. That's hard. that's hard. You didn't hear about the guy that crashed the Tesla and they couldn't save him because they couldn't open the door because they couldn't find the doorknob, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I'm it not. Look, it look I, good though. Yeah, I, fam, check this out. There's a few situations that I'm just not dying in. I'm not dying because you can't find the door handle to my Tesla. Yeah, the window's broken. <laughs> I'm breaking. Point. Something's all, getting broke. What can you get of, a what DWI? Type of firefighter nut is going for the door handle in a car crash? Can you get a DWI Break in a Tesla? Does, doesn't it drive itself? Nigga, all the cars drive themselves now. My, my, when you drunk, you drive yourself too. That's true. The Hondas do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they they switch that shit up. All the cheap cars are kind of hard. <laughs> Tesla's hard. You should get a Kia. I'm not. Uh. <laughs> you should get a Kia. Damn, but why I'm not? That's crazy how yeah, this shit is on the Kia. Why, why do I think a car should be like some symbolism of status? Or Kia, got, yeah. Kia, Kia got an SUV too, I think. I'm not getting that. Get the Kia truck. Get the no. Kia truck. Pull up. I'm saying no to both of you. And I'm so not you, couldn't, you couldn't have your driver and you get in the backseat of the regular Kia? I'm not doing that. It's economical. I'm not gonna feel salty doing that. Joe want to get in a Lambo truck. <laughs> Ew. I'm never, you pull I've up in a Lambo truck with a driver. But I've Ew. never seen a Lambo. I just think it's funny how you're judging me by the cars that I'm 
thinking about. Like you have dismissed me getting every car. Just picture like a Lamborghini. Because those are like stereotypical rapper dumb vehicles. Well, you keep saying range, and I don't think a range is spacious enough. Shit. You're you not that tall. You ain't sitting you ain't sitting in the back of the new range yet? You ain't check it out? No, I was always driving. I was always in the front. They actually yeah. are and can you get driven in a new range? <laughs> yeah, you can get driven in it. You look nuts if someone's driving you in a range. I'm, I agree. Why? Drive the range. That's not- <laughs> <laughs> you can absolutely drive the range, but you don't look nuts. Get Fan, in the back seat the of the range. driver too close to me yeah. in the range. <laughs> y'all almost need a knee. No, you're not. I'm right here with him, yo, <laughs> man. Make this last. Oh, y'all, don't, y'all, y'all, haven't, y'all haven't sat in, in the new Range Rovers. I don't know how small you think a Range Rover is. A range oh, Rover, the, the new train. Range Rover is not that. Is not small. Oh, my bad, big brother. No, I'm just saying it's not. Like it's <laughs> it's not small. It's a spacious vehicle. You are gonna, you have plenty yo, of leg room. Yo, you heard more flexes black privilege on us. Oh wait, clearly you guys haven't. I understand now. <laughs> Cause y'all shit. I don't understand how y'all sitting here shitting on the Range Rover space. Like I don't even understand. It's not. It's very. It's a lot of space. They've always been a spacious car. Honestly, there's a I'm lot of, in the new ones. There's a lot of space. Like a lot, you can like f- fully extend your legs in the back. Yeah, seat. there used to be space back in the old ones, so I'm surprised. The new ones, I'm sure, have yeah, space for sure as well. Great car. Yeah, never mind me. <laughs> I forgot who who said it, but what battle rapper said it? But when he was battling some nigga, say when you battle such and such, you gave him a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with battle rap, all this shit up in the nigga face. You wasn't doing none of that. He gave him all the space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, let's talk about Dirk Nowinski retiring. <laughs> Dirk ain't retired. I don't know why y'all trying to retire that against man. his will. He never said Yo, he was retiring. How many standing ovations in the fourth quarter has Dirk got this season? Man, it, y'all trying to get every right? time you go back to the bench, it's a standing o. Fan. Oh, this last seven games left. Fan. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk never said this was it. Yes, he did, Maul. When? No. I seen him and Dwayne Wade hug at least three times this they year. They just hug it. They exchanged nah, jerseys. Dwayne goodbye, said hug. this is it. D-Wade said this is it. Like, it, this is it. Dirk never said this was his last year. Nah, Dirk going up to niggas like, yo, you want my jersey? <laughs> <laughs> like, niggas ain't even But how Dirk. funny would it be, though, if they doing all this with Dirk and he still come back next year? <laughs> They gonna whoop Dirk. They didn't let Dirk get free Dirk. layups in games like Dirk. in the fourth quarter. <laughs> they didn't let him get, yeah, get wide that, open, get pick, off for your pick legacy. and pop jumpers. Like they ain't even closing out on the pick and pop. They're like, that's the that's the legend. That's forty one, man. Let him get that shot. If he come back for another year, niggas is closing out on everything. They're like, all right, now you playing games. Enough's enough. Yeah, enough is enough. Yeah. You pass will like we get it, but now enough is enough. Yeah, Dirk. Listen, I don't think he's retiring. Mark Cuban done went and got the next two foreign sensations. Dirk, go ahead and get on no, out Dirk of here. Dirk, he want to be around from, for some of that. Shark he want to chill with Porzingis yeah. and, and Luca. Yeah, he want to be around for some of that. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk, he was nice back then, bro. We Imagine if Dirk had like four or five years left though with them two. That'd be scary. Oh, 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 yeah. That's dangerous. Like Dirk, Dirk, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this yeah. new Dirk. Nah, this 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 old Dirk. <laughs> oh, it's a big Luther and, Lu- and skinny Luther. I'm sure about. Dirk could still sit in the corner and shoot a three though. Yeah, because they letting him. Uh, They're like, yo, you're not gonna close out on one of the greatest players ever if you want to like close. Yeah, but if this if this is his last run, you like let him have it. Yeah, Dirk in the games now do be looking like, all right, I'll shoot it. Yeah, <laughs> ain't nobody closing out. <laughs> all right, yeah, ain't nobody closing it. out on I mean, Dirk. How many more of these am I gonna get? Yeah, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Some of these players are just happy to be on the court with him at this point. Like they yeah. they grew up watching him. Right. So you're not so you telling me that Dirk is hugging everybody and he has and, not and swapping jerseys, saying goodbye, but coming yeah, and back. He, is, he has not officially yeah. said this is yeah, his last year. Don't know the next time I'll be in Miami. <laughs> Peace, fam. He has not said this. Is, he has not officially said this is his last year. That's it's funny to me. Like it's like yo, y'all pushing him he's out, waving to the crowd. Yeah, 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 y'all pushing him out. Doc Rivers stopped the game in the fourth and was like, Dirk. <laughs> Give it up <laughs> Dirk was like <laughs> How, it's, it's been Dirk night at, yeah. In Dallas Dirk is looking at him like Fam but I Never said I was This was it Like I might see you again This time next year Like Dirk bobbleheads To the first thousand yeah, fans Like they just pushing Dirk, Dirk out the league Dirk and not, They're gonna come back It ain't they Mark Cuban pushing that Mark Cuban gonna trade That nigga next year That's, that's disrespectful <laughs> so They gonna trade him And the Knicks will take him That's the, no, Max. We won't. no, Max we won't. out. Max him out. Max out, Dirk. Dolan a Max. Dolan a Max, Dirk. Seven years. Seven years. Ninety million. That's, that's not what we're gonna do. Man. <laughs> the Knicks will definitely max a forty-one-year-old Dirk. Seven for ninety. Have, have you seen his highlights? 
<laughs> He's gonna pack the house. We gotta pay this man. I swear the Knicks front office just looks at YouTube highlights and be like, oh, we should get him. The get Knicks don't have a front office. They have a back office. When they told us that Phil Jackson did a pull up on Joe Kim Noah's uh, arm, I was like, all right, enough. <laughs> all right, this is going too far. You just jealousy did, did the pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright infringement. Ah, like, Rory, go ahead, Rory. That was a good one. Fuck out of here, Joe Kim. No, I survived Michael the Michael Sweetney era. Now I got I got to hear about Phil Jackson doing pull ups on this nigga's arm. Now the Vin Baker era was pretty epic too. You see, Joe jo Kim Noah, Joe Kim Noah, and the Grizzlies now trying to make it like a, a, a right. thing. He looked all right though. No, he don't. You sign him then. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, him. Like, I didn't think he would look this good. Though, sign him to the Lakers. No, nah, I'm cool. We, we he'd probably go over there. Y'all good over there? We would. The, the <laughs> Lakers would pick Joakim Noah right now. Yeah, they would. I believe that. He'll play with a brother. Terrible ass fucking GMs and. All Do the Warriors them. win a chip this year? Uh, look at the look at the line in it's, Vegas. They'll tell us who's gonna it's, win. It's crazy that I keep thinking if they just had Javale McGee. <laughs> The Warriors? Well, I think they miss him bad. I think they miss him bad. Why? He, he, did you see the playoffs last year? Mm -hmm. He killed the playoffs last year. Was, him with all of them shooters, like, <laughs> it works. I don't think, I, honestly, I still think the, I, I think, I'll, I'll say the Warriors, I think they'll win it. But I, I don't think that they are going as hard in the regular season as they have in the past four years. Nah, they're chilling. Yeah, like they. Would they, you? No, like now they they Which they know where they'll come, be. Come playoff time, oh, it's that'll, a different that'll change. It's a different notch. Yeah, they yeah. go up another level. That's why I'm like looking at these some of these games they losing now. I'm not paying that shit no more. Like, yeah. I would love to see Houston win. Houston, Yo, I just Rory want to see them in dying in to go to the parade in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> He's hosting the parade in Houston. Yeah, it's yeah. to do say Palooza victory parade <laughs> launch <laughs> party and, dance. Everything you're saying is accurate. So <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for it. The oranges will be there. Everything you're saying is accurate. <laughs> emotional rockets. <laughs> the rockets will be the emotional. emotional reds. <laughs> the emotional reds. They, they're so hip to Rory and his industry ass. Now they on to you. Uh, mm. About what? The Just, industry. Yeah. <laughs> Just and how industry you are. I admit my are. industry shit. No, nah, they they was like, all right, dude, Rory's just gonna keep giving us the oranges. Like, tell us what you what the deal is. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's my people. What's the splits? No, 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 it's not my people. <laughs> no, look, my people. He's still running at, with the my at people this point, line. If y'all haven't caught that, now y'all, I'm your man. I know. <laughs> like, I'm talking about <laughs> the fans. I'm talking about the fans. They oh no, they know. They caught it. Of yeah. course they. I no, wasn't trying nah, to hide they it. Think, no, they no, think no, Rory's no. still trying to be organic. <laughs> oh. No, if you noticed, I played a real sleeper. And then I played them on the outro. I see. I'm still giving love to the. Get your shit off, yes. Rory. You my guy. Give love. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> you so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Give love. Rafty Give love. Records. I'm trying to work on it. I feel you. Rafty feel Records. Y'all coming to the Rafties, LA, Poppy? 11 p.m. The, the orders is gonna be there. I'm pulling up. Fam, you got to. I'm pulling up. Give me is a there Rafties? Can I get a table? Yeah, I announced it. Can I get a table? Of course you get a table. Do you see the flyer? My man. Yeah, the whole flyer. I didn't see the flyer. Wow. You see the poppy? Some friend. Oh, I'm not even joking. I didn't see it. Yes. Yeah, Where's the flyer? Poppy. Show it's, me the flyer. It's it's Rory said LA, oh, LA, LA. It said LA three times. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it said LA three times in neon lights. It said what? It said LA three times in neon lights. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm going. I like this shit. The neon lights got you? Oh, of man. course, man. Oh, dude. God, I, I hit him with the late lead. He really called him the Rafties. You ain't seen the late I, I went right past it. I didn't even read it, but. That's the latte this latte. This is the Rafties flyer. Yes, sir. Yeah, the latte latte. Everyone's welcome. No ticket required. Just show up. Um, What's the age? Because somebody was asking me, is it 21? 20, 21 plus. Somebody oh, asked me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> somebody no asked me. I would know what's going to the Rafties. It's, it's all like ages. Plus. Somebody Wait. asked me. <laughs> I want you to clear it up because there's a bunch of people in my mix that asked me. all ages Rafties. And I had no idea. The all ages Rafties. That's what this is. This is 21 and up and free at the door. Who you think you're getting in there? Look at the dude. The dude. The dude's in there. He's Yo, in there. Hey, He's hey Savon, <laughs> FaceTime me that crowd. <laughs> Just show me. Just pan, pan the phone, panorama. <laughs> no, I'm in the latte, latte. Now that Chicago the, rafty. See, you, see what you did there. <laughs> I'm in the latte, latte. We do a Chicago's rafty. Uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. With the Chicago rafty? I'm cool. Oh, Shit. I love Chicago. I'm in there. You got Chicago. But no. no, I got life and love. And I love Chicago life. Chicago is very segregated. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm joking. We fellas. wouldn't be going to party I'm, where they would kill us, I'm, 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 <laughs> fellas. I'm, I'm joking. This is a joke. I'm just oh, fucking okay. with y'all. But there's one in, there's one in Chicago. 
Well, we, I haven't even thought oh, about it. My bad. One at a time. One at a time. No, Can't even get there yet. My bad. Yeah, I yeah. jumped that gun. Give that's my fault. Give him a minute. That's my fault. Yo, you don't see the vision, <laughs> Rory. That's my mm. fault. That turnover was on me. My bad. I'll get him. On. Come on, Melly. Dream get, chase is over. <laughs> I'll get it back. I'll get it back. Let's go down. Yeah. Okay. Just get back. I'll get it. Um, is there anything else important that's happened that we have to just provide content for, or nah? Oh uh, well, Monica Brown has filed for divorce from Shannon Brown. I thought that was big. I didn't bring it to y'all, but I did think it was big. <laughs> it's exciting news. They've it been is. married for mad long, and Monica's a thug. So yeah, it was it was sad. It was it was it was kind of like damn. The end I thought era. they were gonna hold it down. Yeah, I thought they were gonna hold it down. First, the Browns break up. Every day I wake up. Does this mean Monica about to release some new fire? Because you know she get into her. I'm here for that. Ooh, yeah, I might be here. <laughs> Monica's for that. her bag is underrated. Is it? I think so. You think it's underrated? I think I people, think people know up. she gets she's she's like the original spicy R and B girl. I know obviously Mary is queen in that category, of but course. I don't think Monica gets her just due with the hurt bag. Okay. I can see that. Why none of those old not old, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I love Monica. Why none of the older R and B songstresses like fuck with Maya at all? <laughs> like Maya just somewhere. Word. On the beach still, Maya got like, heat. best of me still, like, like take a picture of Monica or something, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> She's why, good at that. Why don't you get along with the songs just is from your era? She got one of the best Instagrams. And Maya, Maya still looks great. Yeah. Super great. Like, she still look like it's 99 outside. Yeah, Parks, you got to whisper that out there. And yeah, she got one of the best Instagrams. Like, it's like really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> she looks really, really good. <laughs> Parks, why you think our Instagram is so great? <laughs> scenery, 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 scenery. It's all scenery. about scenery. The filters, yeah. It's a uh, gaffers. gaffers. Gaffers is doing. Really She's always good job. on a beach. She got a sandy butt. <laughs> <laughs> Makes for good IG content. Y'all got sleepers. <laughs> Ashanti looks great too. She also has a good Instagram. Yeah, Ashanti looks great. She does. Mm, that's when they laugh. The, the girl laugh is a heard you. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. That's I know the mics is on and friends you. are here. Yeah. Couch again for we you, buddy. Said, we ain't said nothing you would find funny in there. As <laughs> soon as we leave, Park's trying to hug his girl. She's like, no, hug Ashanti. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> mm. Hug her Instagram. Hug her Instagram. Damn. It'll be you and Ashanti's Instagram tonight. Park's got to go hug his phone. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Women are crazy. And don't don't say yo just you and uh, Ashanti's IG tonight go have a blast. Don't tell us that because we'll go have a blast. <laughs> we'll start liking every picture. <laughs> like oh yeah, all the comments, everything for sure. <laughs> yo, chick ever tell you to go do whatever you want to do and then you went and did whatever, whatever you, you wanted to do? Yeah, and then she got mad. Man, oh man, <laughs> man. <laughs> like why you tell me that? Even the first time that happened to me, I still didn't believe it and then did it the next time and was just as surprised. <laughs> so let me get this straight. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you didn't mean that. It was a mistake. So, oh. so why don't you say what you mean? Oh, no. Oh, shit. You crazy. <laughs> say what that's you a, mean. That never worked. And I, and I'm trying to fucking new Joe Button. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I thought it was a, a beat breakdown on the Wilson Phillips record. I think at the end, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 at the end, there, there we go. Oh, you hey. heard the run? Right into it. <laughs> oh, white soul. I'm hype. <laughs> white and B. I come back. White and B. White and B. <laughs> You know this white and beast. She keeps saying, hold on. Like, they was going suicidal going yeah. through something. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, know, you know us with our pills. Oh, look at Parks dropping this shit out. Break, you did a break beat, Parks. Break beat. Parks did the break beat. Yeah, Parks did the break beat. <laughs> they try to give us some beastie boys. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. That was definitely big beat. The gunshot on that is... <laughs> Don 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 don. They stole that from us. Don 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 don. How could this be a pop? How could this be a pop record? Did you hear that breakdown? White soul pop. I was hyped when they came on the end of whatever movie that was. All of the '80s. No, bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. They made a cameo too. They smoke. Look, look at Rim. Oh, they did. <laughs> no, just, had a moment and just, just 20 hilarious. minutes ago, she said, Who is that? <laughs> yeah. and she said, Oh, they did. Oh, they did. <laughs> oh. Bridesmaids was hilarious. That was a funny, funny movie. Great movie. Oh, my God. Funny movie. Great, great, great movie. That was the one where the girl was pooping in the sink, right? 
uh, in the street, in yeah. the couch. <laughs> It was shitting everywhere. That sneaking in the first class, sec, that was one of the funniest <laughs> scenes in... Yo, dog, listen. She she said, I'm, I'm Mrs. Inglacius. <laughs> nah, that movie is hilarious. That shit is funny. <laughs> they was giving away do- uh, puppies as, as um, party favors. She had like 10 right, puppies in her let's add this to the, the docket for Chicago for movie night with the fellas. We'll do bridesmaids. Mm, yeah. That sounds nice. Yeah, yeah. With let's pizza. do bridesmaids. Pizza. Movie night. We we'll get some pink wine. Oh, we could freaking do bridesmaids Friday castaway Saturday. I like it. Ooh, get a nice Zinfandel on ice. Mm, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> hey, hey, wait, a Zinfandel <laughs> on ice. <laughs> get the fuck out. Hey, uh, <laughs> save on to do what? what some uh, lot. Just by chance. <laughs> what night are we in DC? Just by chance. Thursday, I think. By he chance. Said. By <laughs> chance. <laughs> no, it's already booked. <laughs> it's booked by chance. Like we just gonna stumble along going to DC. Hey. <laughs> by chance. Up. Uh, Wait, yo, he ain't trying to get us all in trouble. Yo, that's what you Where? do this on the on air. I yo, need DC. Nice <laughs> yo, what nice stadium pot? <laughs> yo, DC is on a Thursday. Yeah. Damn, man, that's fucked up. Because I think Thursday is the dead night out there. Of course, <laughs> everybody know. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's nothing popping in DC on a Thursday. Hey, yeah, no, it's hey, just, it's regular. Out of curiosity, when it. <laughs> Boston Falls where? Because <laughs> that's the... That's the... Huh? Oh, that's a, it's On a, par- a what? We got a parlay. Wait, what night? <laughs> that's oh, a slow oh, night, Boston. Don't worry about it. It is. Every, every, that's a slow Everyone night. knows Boston on Friday is Everyone's going to be at the, the Sox game, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a parlay. We got yeah. DC We'll be tired Boston. from DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Yankees series. I don't know why series. Didn't book us at these places on nights that would be hot and popping. Yeah. yeah. I don't Come know. on, man. Damn. This is crazy. This is crazy. Some light. Why what can't we be in Boston this? on a Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas love wearing pea coats and glasses to court. You still going to jail, Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Blade, you still going to jail. Wait. Wait, yo, did you did y'all see the bullshit clip running around of the dude sitting down and his, well, his girlfriend sat him down and, he, and she's pressing him about some girl that he fucked and he's saying he didn't fuck her and now she pops oh, yeah, up yeah. on the video. I and, saw that shit. And she says, yeah, we didn't fuck. I just said that because I wanted your man, bitch. And then the girlfriend is sitting there looking stupid. Well, no, I you, missed that one. Was that that was a good explanation. The scorned man page. I just want to know why Shorty paid the chick $50 to just see if her man would flirt. And was totally fine paying the chick to fuck her man. She had no pushback. Like, yo, you that fucked, right? <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> Wait, what? She was disappointed he didn't fuck. <laughs> she looked mad. She's be so mad when they catch you in some shit and be wrong. Like, why are you mad to be wrong? Because <laughs> she was they, they ex- she was, was excited right. that she paid fifty dollars for some chick to fuck her man. She was thrilled. She sounds like a team player. I watched that shit and I was like, I don't understand how that just went so smoothly. I tell women the same exact thing. And it works. Oh, no, she probably she, no, 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 don't work at all. <laughs> don't work at all. No, she probably just saying that because she wants me. It sounds like the most arrogant yeah. shit ever. Yeah. No, babe, none of that happened. She's just saying that because she doesn't want you to be with me. Like it makes you, it makes you sound like you think you're a prize, and your girl don't believe you're a prize. No, no. She did at one point. And yeah, left. not not at this point in the relationship. No. Oh my God, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at this point. in the bed. But no, chicks go back and forth on that. They think every girl in the world wants to fuck you, but also thinks you're a piece of shit. Well, women hate that other women like you for the same reason they liked you. Well, well yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a better fact. It's like, I mean, they I laughed was, at all I your was, jokes, and yeah. now we three years in, and yeah, now I'm was, not funny, and I can't, can't understand switch up. why yeah. this girl also <laughs> laughing at my funny joke. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't unfunny myself. I know, I know, I'm on fell when you keep sending me sipping paint. <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me all I need to know about where we at with it. <laughs> Yo, we going? No, nah. nah, 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 not at all. Wait, the the fellows were invited to that? That's a nasty sip in Atlanta. Paint. I'm sure some. All right, lie. I wasn't trying to be funny. <clears throat> okay, y'all don't think there's no gay dudes at the sipping paint? Of course. Yeah, y'all got the nigga. Y'all got just the, we got specific the with the city. Up. Gay dudes in there fucking botting Mona Lisa and that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepers. Yo, all right. Gay man. dudes in there Mona all Lisa right, and that all right. shit. Forget it. Forget it.
Someone talk so it's not the awkward silence after the show. <laughs> God damn. Are we going to the what, what day are we in Atlanta, Simon? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there it is. You ever heard the God Raw in a Civil Chant? I got enough to go around. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. If I was gay, I'd be a flagrant nigga, man. I would be saying wild shit. Yeah, nigga, get over here. <laughs> I would be. I would be aggressive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah, well, come over here, Duke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's really? <laughs> Fuck over here, nigga. <laughs> nigga. You paint? <laughs> Yo, you paint? <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get out of here, man. Let's play sleepers before we get canceled. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm almost ready to walk back my statement about that uh that new schoolboy Q record. Oh yes, yeah? okay. On. You heard it out somewhere? I told you, it's I, a, I, didn't, a good I didn't think it was I didn't think it was as bad. It's a good as record. Num Num Juice is a good record. I it's, I let it I let it play a, a few times and caught it in the right environment, changed yeah. change how you see. And then I, you know what I mean, just hearing it a few times, it's it's a good record. Yeah. It's a good record. Still sticking. I walk. I'm man enough to walk it back. I walk back that, that statement. I yeah. walk it back. On that. Yeah, I, I thought you was a little. Yeah, I was off. I'll admit it. We we can't rush rush to judge yeah. some shit. I'm gonna stop doing that too. I keep saying I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, doing it. Especially with first singles, man. Yeah, that's a really becoming episode. <clears throat> Everyone in their their demons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Roy, did you say they're uh, re-releasing a remaster of 444? That's what I was trying to see. I think the other streaming service was doing that. Uh, are we others? allowed to say title on here? <laughs> they mixed it? We can that's say, what it seemed like in the timeline. I don't want to confirm that, but we'll call that's what it seemed like on Elliot Wilson's <laughs> I don't Instagram. think Spotify and Title have a beef. <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's fine. Yeah. Hi, Hove. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Hove? Hi. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. So is that coming or not? I'd be excited to hear it that. It seemed like Guru and a bunch of people were talking about it. I don't know. I got to double check. I'll be excited. Yeah, I wasn't ready to talk about that on air because I wasn't confirmed. Uh-huh. Well, you came on air and told us that Hove thinks he's getting better. So, well, that was confirmed because he said that to me. Uh-huh. <laughs> this was just something I saw on Elliot that Wilson's timeline. Confirmed because Hove confirmed the con- confirmation. Not, that ain't confirmed because Hove said I'm con- getting confirming better. Confirming that Hove said I'm getting better is a confirmation. I'm that not saying getting he's getting better. Oh, God, he, right. I'm confirming got it, got that it, got he got said it. to me. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Weird flex, but whatever. <laughs> weird, no, that's a pretty cool. Sometimes flex. you got a weird flex. Weird text, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Rory double <laughs> double back on the weird flex. Somebody tweeted, "What's your favorite whole line?" And Rory said, "I'm getting better." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, I mean, can't, can't <laughs> hate on it. Right, <laughs> it's a good moment." All right, uh, listen, it's been an amazing podcast. We have to end it because Parks Girl ordered food an hour ago and she's waiting for him to eat. <laughs> like, she's over here starving and we just keep talking about shit. <laughs> have y'all seen us? <laughs> Actually, have y'all seen the act? Seriously? The what act, is- it's about uh, Gypsy Rose, the girl that was oh, yeah, fed yeah, a bunch yeah. of medication and pretended to be in a wheelchair because her mother was psycho. Then her boyfriend ended up killing her mother. I'm not, it's not a spoiler. Where is it's a this? story that's been out. It's on Hulu. Huh. They're redoing it. It's an actual series. But it's series. a movie. Or, oh, so it's a series, an hour but episode. But it's a dramatization. Yeah, it's it's extra. But I mean, but it's entertaining. I, I'm, into, I'm, I'm into a little extra drama. No, that's cool. Put a little I'm, extra. I'm no, they say in the beginning like this is true, but we kind of we put some we spice it up. I am only <laughs> saying it for the people that have seen the numerous docs that I have, have been seen. I've seen the HBO released one. on a young lady. Like right. I've seen a bunch of docs. So when you know the story, to watch the dramatization of it is like it's creepy a little bit. Uh. Like when you know. How sick this is Right Yeah Like they kind of body In the dramatization and it's, No it, it feels weird Every Wednesday I think three episodes Are out now I've been glued to my seat Every Wednesday for that shit Hmm But tune in It's called The Act The Act on Hulu Yeah I'm into it Alright so Let Parks go eat with his girl We are in LA tonight uh, Chicago Detroit DC Boston oh, On o- nights o- that Oakland no one Sunday. Would want to be in those cities Of course Yeah uh, Oakland Wait, Chicago, y'all Detroit think- Y'all finally got y'all show so we please, please stop Oakland on Sunday <laughs> uh, 
while the people are hearing this, where do, where do you think Maul is right now when the people are listening? He got Katana. Like, what, what part of L.A. you think Maul is in? Where I, listen, as soon as Maul get up from that middle seat, I'm following him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to know exactly where Maul... Because Maul going to get to L.A. and not tell us what he's doing, not call Maul us, is no, not, not staying text in the us. same hotel He's as just going to pop up <laughs> at Showtime no, with a list. <laughs> no, no, nigga. No. Your list ain't getting in I, I told and get over I, here. I told y'all what can, I was trying can, to like, do. Y'all looked at me like... Uh, uh, I'm can like, Savon take your hotel room? Because I know you're not staying. You're going somewhere in the Maul hills. staying in this hotel. Of course room. not. I love, I love that hotel. That is a good hotel. Yeah. They need to do a little a couple upgrades, but I, it's comfortable. I like it. It gives it character. Does the, the Don have his own room? Oh. Fam. I hope so. Oh. We, we know you do. Oh. Hey, hey, we hey. 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 You yeah, nasty yeah. summer of mo- Wait, no. what'd you say? <laughs> I mean, oh, hey, personal space. The Don yeah. staying with Keith. Nothing space. personal. He just needs personal space. It's not yeah. personal, though. It's Nothing fucked personal. up that the Don came aboard when we started winning. <laughs> That's true. That's right. the fucked up You don't know what the struggle you, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah save personal Yo, y'all got space. a cot? Personal space. We did <laughs> with four niggas in a room. <laughs> Y'all got a cot at the La Quinta? First of all, La Quinta cot. Mars, don't act like on our last LA show. You ain't walk in and be like, yo, where am I staying? Damn. Better give me my I didn't want to share a room. I need my personal space. Nah, I remember me and Joe was in New Orleans. You heard Parquet. We had, we made that, that hotel in New Orleans we stayed in. We had to double up in the room and I had to, I had to get the cot. Well, that's New Orleans, oh, yeah, man. You can wild out in New Orleans. Yeah, no, I, yeah, you don't, me, you don't me and Joe was looking around in that room like, yo, fam. You don't really need to sleep in New Orleans. That nigga definitely got killed in this room. It just felt like that. That uh, cop was like a coffin. I was like, all right, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to Ian. I'm dying for a New Orleans show. That's true, man. They're dying what? for a New Orleans I'm, show. I'm dying for I man, love I New Orleans. Fuck they ain't dying for I'm, I'm <laughs> going to walk out, clap for ourselves. Yeah, we yeah. here. <laughs> we here. Let's do this shit right New on Bourbon Street with, <laughs> yeah, <I'm good. laughs> with, with them little mics with the speaker. Yeah, we'll do it from one of them balconies and shit. <laughs> Why is New Orleans the city that your girl ain't aware of? Just no, she's going standing on, on something and yelling at me right now. So what? <laughs> I she's she was very hungry. aware. No, she just wants a big. Rim know about that New Orleans sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. trying to get Sam to move to New Orleans. <laughs> Fuck y'all without out here. you, New Orleans. <laughs> so just move to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Yo, you should move somewhere. <laughs> New Orleans. Fuck it. Y'all niggas gonna get shot. <laughs> uh, listen, great podcast. Uh, I don't want to hear about your fucking complaints about how short it is. Gave you niggas Titanic the other day, four hours. Fuck out of here. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going to spend time with my family. <laughs> Before we get right on the road. Word. Do the road that we don't want to go on. Right. Of course. I mean, we want to stay, I mean, stay with our families. Build. If it was up to us, we would do Skype live shows. Yeah, yeah, 100, uh, 100%. Yeah, we got to look into that. Yeah, yeah, stream, FaceTime, FaceTime the crowd. <laughs> uh, until the next time, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Uh, when is next time? Wednesday till Wednesday, we bid you adieu. Peace, arrivederci, adios, chop up whatever lines you want from this podcast, goddammit. Have a blast. See you next week.